some girls just want to watch World Cup. Jeff Nails another draft day. Nail this top five has 98. I got some just loves and some Kevin James. Fucking Kevin James. It's the history of bad. It's bad. It's the history of bad. It's so bad. It's the history of bad ideas. It's the history of bad. Oh, yeah. Right it's the history of bad. This episode of Hobie is sponsored by Hello Jeff. Save 20% off your first meal box with promo code HobiePod. Please note that any comments, jokes, questions, maybe, anything that we say on the history of bad ideas is all in good fun. And remember, we insult everybody. Our thoughts, opinions, questions, anything else, actions that we do on the show do not reflect any of our employers, organizations, advertisers, or anyone else that is associated with the history of bad ideas. And remember, at the end of the day, it's just a joke. Welcome to the history of bad ideas, episode number 467, I think. I'm Jason. I'm Jeff. I'm Jim. And I'm Brian. And with us this week is, she's not even a guest anymore, it's Jeannie of Hobie. Welcome, Jeannie. Yay, Hooray. I'll come back. <laughs> You're not a guest anymore because you just show up. I just tell you that I'm free and I'm showing up. Yeah, pretty much. And that's fine. Uh, that's fine, yeah. Yeah. Blake is not here. <laughs> he's got, uh, he's like uh, the monkey from Outbreak. So he's sick mm-hmm. again uh, with herpes. Herpes, Jim? Uh, I, I'm assuming. Okay, okay. Um, or syphilis. I'm not sure which one yet. Um, we just going through the list of STIs. Well, maybe, okay. uh, leprosy, leprosy, HPV. Ooh. <laughs> uh, he did not get that shot. He, he definitely has <laughs> HPV. <laughs> Doesn't everybody right, Excellent. Uh, pretty much. I okay. do not. I do not. Okay. Uh, I, I was tested. I do not. Well, isn't it though in your body, right? You can catch it. It's not necessarily in your body. Oh, yeah. You're thinking herpes. Like, everybody has herpes. <laughs> this is a very weird conversation. No, I thought, <laughs> well, she's not wrong. Well, yes, but the, yeah. HP, the HPV, isn't that the reason the kids get those shots? Because everybody yeah. can do it and transfer it? Well, you, yes, can, that you can, is, can definitely catch that it is, very easily, yes. You have the option of picking it up rather easily, but oh. it doesn't mean everybody has it. But the commercial told me every kid's going to die of cancer <laughs> that doesn't get the shot. <laughs> That's what it tells me. Is, is that what you need to get your kids to get an HPV vaccine? I don't know, because then I see other commercials that say the shots kill your kids. I don't know, Jeannie. No, the shots don't kill your kids. They just give them autism. Oh, that's yeah. right. And it's ADHD. totally fine. Give them the shot. Okay, Jenny McCarthy. <laughs> and ADHD. <laughs> and all these yeah. things. And that- covid and, and the reason that everybody has it now is because, well, people actually test for it now that they didn't test for these things 35 years ago. Uh, my issue yeah, is... you it, just got cancer and died. <laughs> I'll be honest. My, no kid of mine is getting the polio vaccine. Damn it. All you right. They already got it? Oh, they we did. need a... Damn it. <laughs> Damn it. We're Going looking forward. for a... <laughs> Going, again. Going not forward. It again. That's right. <laughs> As my uncle was one of the last post-polio survivors, it's really not a good disease to just, like, hope your kids don't get. Yeah. Okay, so... Let's see. We have it almost er- eradicated, so let's just not give out the vaccine anymore <laughs> so it can come back. That's a good idea. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> Okay, measles. <laughs> <laughs> exactly. <laughs> okay, so this is just dumb me as usual. But what did what was the sicknesses with polio? Was did that paralyze your legs or what was that? It, it mm. affected your nervous system. So okay. paralyzation of your legs could be part of it, but it could be your arms. It could just be your lungs. It just depends on where it hit. So my could uncle. Be death. Oh. Yeah, death was definitely on the options on the menu. Like he was <laughs> paralyzed from his waist down. He had tiny little bird legs, but he had massive shoulders because he walked on his arms. Mm-hmm. Like he w- had uh, crutches. So yeah, um, he also had some problems with his digestive system as well as his heart. Gotcha. Mm-hmm. Uh, growing up, my little league coach for about five years. Um, he was my lowly coach for five years. He didn't have polio for only five years. Uh, <laughs> he had polio. He actually did have polio, and uh-huh. 
he had the crutches. He his legs like weren't he, they weren't completely paralyzed. Like he could walk a little bit, but it was tough for him. Uh, but yeah. he was a hell of a baseball coach too. Really nice guy. Yeah. So did he teach you how to steal second? He didn't know because I you know me I can't steal second. <laughs> Uh, you're you just too honest. I'm going to stand here and just wait for you to tell me that the ball's been hit. <laughs> that's right. <laughs> no, J- Jim, that's right. I have stolen second base in a tournament, a softball tournament. Mm-hmm. Uh, I was the only asshole that did decide to steal during that day. It was uh, it was 116 degrees out. It was. Uh, you could steal once it hit the catcher's mitt, and the teams we were playing did not have good catchers. So as soon as it hit their mitt, it went past them, and I just stole. So... <laughs> If, I feel you like didn't, that's just if it smart. didn't hit your mitt, you couldn't steal then? No, she didn't want to buy home. It hit, hit home plate. <laughs> buy, buy home plate, sorry. <laughs> yeah, the guy just didn't catch it. <laughs> Fuck it. That's what I would do. You know it was fun. Like what, what if it just went really wide and never went over home plate, but like went on the other I side? Think when the pitch the, hit the, the ground, pit. you could. <laughs> Umpire's discretion, Jeannie. Umpire's okay. discretion. <laughs> if I'm it was. Just being ass. Yeah, it was fine. <laughs> no, I was subbing for a team once. Uh, and and they didn't tell me that there was stolen bases in this league, and they put me at catcher. So, you know, during the, like, second batter or something, because the first batter got on the ball, squirted away, and this guy takes off, and I'm lollygagging to pick up the <laughs> ball. They're like, oh, yeah, they steal in this league. Like, Good to know. We were <laughs> Thanks sh- for telling me now. <laughs> we were hats and sleeves, and we steal in this league, Jeff. <laughs> California Penal League. How'd you get Cats there? Hats and sleeves? <laughs> we were fancy. How'd you get there? Stole a car. Uh, yeah, so Jeannie's with us this week. Jeannie, how is Toledo? Right now it's snowing here. Ooh. No, it's raining. It keeps going back from snow to rain. It's really shitty. Uh, rumor is that you guys are going to get hit with a really big lake effect snow this weekend. Oh, we never get hit with lake effect snow. It always goes around us. Oh, it no, hits, that's Cleveland. It hits, yeah, it hits yeah. Cleveland. It doesn't hit us. The, the, it got, like Port Clinton on. They're before the lake. lake on yeah. the, the, the. My bad. We Does have it, the really nice, like, the buffer of being before the lake. Everything goes around us, above us, below us. We kind of get a nice, clear spot. I'm, uh, Buffalo versus the Browns this weekend is supposed to get, like, feats of snow for the game. So that should be Excellent. fun. Is that Cleveland or Buffalo? Okay. Buffalo. Oh, okay. <laughs> I know. I did the same thing. They're like, the Cleveland and Buffalo game is going to get lots of snow this weekend. I'm like, where are they playing? I guess it doesn't matter. No. But that's how football should be played, right? I agree. In the snow with I frozen agree. fingies? I used to think that until I went down to Miami and watched a game in uh, mm. November one year and decided, no, nah, this is much more enjoyable. 80 degree weather? Yep. Unfortunately, I had to watch the Dolphins back then. Yeah, but they were playing the Colts, so I cheered for the Colts. Oh, good call, good call. Jeff Saturday's Colts this year. Yeah. 1-0, and o, baby. 1-0. and o. <laughs> Hey, Brian, you have no co- uh, coaching experience. Want to coach a team this year, this week? Yeah, I'm in. Go. You know what? You could probably beat Josh McCown and the, or Josh McCown, Mc, McDaniels and uh, the Raiders. Yeah. They could get him fired. Good. So. The simple fact of the matter is, though, Saturday's a uh, temporary coach. Yeah. yeah. I mean, interim. Interim. Yeah. He He's there, I'm assuming, he's there to judge the talent on the team and in the coaching staff to help him pick a future coach. Bill Cower said it was an insult to coaching. Well, Bill Cower's an insult to coaching, <laughs> so I don't know what... Well, somebody's point I saw on that one was they said that because he has no coaching uh, experience, experience at all. So it's just, and then somebody's like, well, when you got hired to do TV announcing, you had zero TV uh, broadcasting <laughs> experience. So that was an insult to every broadcast student That is ever. true. <laughs> that is true. It's kind of like that Jack Collinsworth kid. Fuck him. Like, come on. He, first off, he annoys me because he sounds like Collinsworth. And second off, he got the job because his dad was Collinsworth. Damn it. Go follow your dad somewhere. Where is where is Chris at? So you're saying the Bengals should have signed him first? Yes. Okay. Yes. Where is Chris Collinsworth at now? He's NBC. Still is on he NBC? NBC? Yeah, still. Okay. Sunday night football. Mm-hmm. Is he Sunday night? Yeah. Oh, I even watched the Sunday night game. I didn't realize that. Collinsworth and Michaels? Okay. No, Michaels. No, gone. Michaels Thursday. Oh, Michaels is... Oh, okay. With Kurt Herbstreit, I think? Yeah, Michaels is yeah. on the Amazon 
Yeah. Prime. Which Amazon, not to go into football talk, but Amazon Prime, uh, their Thursday night pr- uh, presentation is not bad at all. It sucks. Really? The announcing sucks. I think the... Uh, Other than Michael's, it's... I think the pregame's not bad. I, I enjoy, like, the, some of the the guys on it are okay, but, mm-hmm. uh, like, this, just the commentary. It's it's stuff it's, that, I mean, it's... Between it's, Micros and Herb Street, you think? They they go off tangents and... Okay. I yeah. thought, I'm talking, like, the pregame and the uh-huh. look of it doesn't look bad. I think it looked good. It it's because you like Andrew Whitworth. The football like Whitworth. is much better than their baseball coverage was. Yeah, uh, have you watched the Apple coverage of baseball? That was horrible. Yeah, too. that was that was not. Did good. you guys watch anything besides football? Because I have nothing to add to this at all. Because I'm no longer married and I don't watch football. Uh, soccer. <laughs> World I, Cup I, is coming I, up. They're attractive. I like watching them run. Oh, uh, World Cup! <laughs> World Cup fever. Who's got World Cup fever? Anyone? When is it? It starts next Sunday. Oh, okay. After Thanksgiving. Okay. Mm-hmm. Gotcha. Gotcha. Um, My sport of choice is swimming. We want to go swim laps. We can talk about that. Yay. <laughs> <laughs> I'm not a sports person. I'm so, Go local sports. Um, can we, do you want to talk pie? Do you have some pie tips? Uh, flaky crust, you have to make sure that you have really, really cold fat. Like butter or lard, depending oh, on what okay. you want to make yours with. Um, and you have to make sure that it's cold before you start it. So you make the dough, you put it in the fridge, and you let it sit there so it's nice and cold again. Mm-hmm. And then you roll it out, put it in the pie crust, and put it back in the fridge for like an hour before you put it in the oven. If you're going to par-bake it or if you're going to fill it with crust and bake it all together. Do you want the colder? Crust? Yes. Are you serious? <laughs> No, I want dense, mushy crust. I want a soggy bottom. I want nothing that's tasty and that melts in my mouth. I have a soggy what bottom. What the fuck? <laughs> <laughs> this sounds like a. Tw- this sounds like your uh, your uh, swipe right or left thing. What is that called? Tinder. <laughs> grinder. <laughs> that looks like your grinder profile or Tinder profile. Yeah, I got a soggy bottom. Yes. Mm. I think it would be more like I have a power bottom, not a soggy bottom. Nobody hey, wants Jim. a soggy bottom. Yes, I do. Jim is the power <laughs> bottom. <laughs> yeah, so no. Yeah, so the colder the fat, the better. And then, you know. I've always said that. <laughs> <laughs> and you want to make sure that if you're par baking that you put pie weights in and you want to fill it all the way to the top. Don't just put them on the bottom. You have to fill it all the way to the top of the, the pie. What is it? What do you fill to pie the top? Weight? Pie weights. Pie weights. You take some oh. kind of rocks or stuff you put in there so it'll, it'll hold the shape. You want to yeah. make sure that you take that out, though, before you eat it. <sighs> you're an you, idiot, you, Jason. You are very pretty, Jason. <laughs> no, no, leave I, the no, rocks in. No, he's not leave even the pretty. rocks in. <laughs> I've seen nailed it, and they just leave them in. (laughs) Okay. No, you take them out. (laughs) Yes. And nailed it on Netflix. They left them in. A couple different people have. And even my daughter's like, that's not right, is it, Dad? I was like, I don't think that's a good choice. (laughs) You take those out, and and then you actually put the pie filling in. Oh! They put the pie filling literally on top of it. Uh, Jacques did not like that. (laughs) The one judge. I hope they didn't eat it. Uh, they did. The one spit it out. <laughs> yeah. like, I'm like, and if you don't have pie weights, because not everybody does, you can use rice or dry beans or pennies. Well, with rice, you could leave it in. Just wouldn't taste good. Probably it tastes as good. No. Then why would you fucking leave it in, Jason? <laughs> what are we making? That's what she's We're saying. making a rice pie. <laughs> My goal is to make the shittiest pie ever. <laughs> Honestly, rice pie intrigues me. Rice pie intrigues you. <laughs> mm-hmm. So, what would you have in that, Jeff? The pie well, crust, you'd make a rice. rice pudding. <laughs> yeah, rice like pudding a, a, a rice pudding type oh, filling in no. the pie. You get no. some like custard. Mm-hmm. Rice pie. Ugh. Yeah. Now I feel like I need to make that for Hobie. I'm going to bring it down for the floppy awards. Yay! Yay. Oh, oh. Uh, since we're talking about pie, yes. Uh, I don't know if anybody knew this, but. Joey Chestnut will be at the Frisch's Mainliner in Fairfax on November 23rd, Mm -hmm. attempting to eat 24 slices of Frisch's pumpkin pie in three minutes. Well, pumpkin pie from Frisch's is pretty shitty, so you could probably slide that down. Wow, it's one of the best pumpkin pies out there, so okay. It actually is, Jason. Their cherry pie is good. Their pumpkin pie is one of the best pies in the world, so... You're not allowed to rate pies ever. (laughs) (laughs) Sorry. I mean, <laughs> yes, Jeff, it's one of the best. 
Jeannie said, I have to read it. <laughs> I can't read it. <laughs> Sorry. My bad. So 24 slices of pie in three minutes. How much do you think he's getting paid for that? How many slices are in a Are in a pie. pie. Like, how many? Is it, like, four pies? Three pies? Like, how many full pies is that? I would say there's eight slices, I right? I think there's eight slices in a pie, so probably three full pies. It's like okay. a pizza, right? Mm-hmm. Yeah. You know you can cut pizzas into as many slices as yeah. you wish. There's no do you know? <laughs> do you know pizza is a pie, right? It's a pizza what? pie. <laughs> oh, the, the comments on this uh, thing are amazing. Such Give a waste of example. pies. Donate them to people who need them. Such a waste of pie. Donate. <laughs> Every picture I've ever seen of this guy has been against my will. <laughs> <laughs> Joe, Joe should just chill the fuck out. <laughs> it's sickening what we reward in this world. <laughs> why, did, why did you go to the comment page? Did you put on your hazmat suit? <laughs> yeah, here's the question. What, how angry are you of a person to comment... <laughs> On a Joey Chestnut page, or it, it was Christian. a Channel Nine. Like, oh, okay. their, it's a their the insta- it was an an Instagram post on Channel Nine. Like, but how angry are you in this world that that's what you comment on, right? How angry are you? Do you comment on anything that, like, this is so? I was embarrassed by even people even thinking about this. I'm like, then why are you commenting on this? I mean, why do you care enough to comment on this if you think it's so bad? But. Jim, uh, I'm in the thrust of uh, kids' sports, and it does not surprise me what people comment on. <laughs> oh, no, I read, I, I get in the, the hazmat suit on and read the comment section just to see how, how bad people are. Um, so I... my six-year-old son was in a soccer tournament a couple weeks ago, Jim, and the team, the, one of the parents on the other side was yelling at the referee that, you haven't called offsides all year! And the referee's like, there is no offsides in this league. <laughs> <laughs> but for 10 minutes, he's yelling. And finally, the ref's like, there is no offsides in this league. <laughs> you haven't called it all year. Well, there's a reason for it, sir. And I'm not going to. <laughs> <laughs> oh, You're man. six. <laughs> I do not miss child sports in the least. I would just red card parents. I don't understand why people don't. Like... Sit in the car. Yeah. Yeah. I I don't understand. Like, uh, my older, uh, my oldest son is looking at doing um, soccer uh, refereeing next year. Oh, don't do it. Uh, oh, what a he saint. Wanna be, he want to be, the. there will be an older, there will be an adult. On oh, there. I realize. But, because uh, he's like, I, w- I would love to do that. You know, make some money, you know, do all that. And uh, I was like, well, hopefully you don't have parents coming at you. He's like. Can I just kick them out? I was like, well, technically, you probably could. <laughs> I mean, yeah, well, then your your son's got the right idea. He probably can. Here's your warning. Probably... Get the hell out. Do, are they doing? Do they do the line judge things? They have two yeah. judge, two refs. I don't know. They're doing I don't two know refs, not one ref, and two line judges. Uh, it depends on the age. Okay. He probably since he would be thirteen next year, thirteen, fourteen. He would probably do like six and seven year olds, and then that's just two two refs. Uh, the one the one ref does like looks for the penalties or whatever that they're called. And then the other one kind of walks up and down the lines a lot. That's the younger one. Usually uh, they can still make calls, yeah. but it's mostly they're looking for them. I would think he would be around six or seven years old uh, is the age that he would be <laughs> refereeing. But yeah, he's just like, can I just kick them out? Well, yeah, you could. I mean, go ahead. I mean, I don't mind. Cause when I did line judging, line judges couldn't kick people kick, out. Kick. Jim, you haven't been calling it all year. <laughs> yep. <laughs> Why Why are we yelling or arguing at six years old? <laughs> Tweet. Red card. You need to leave, sir. <laughs> Out. Well, I told you years ago uh, when my young, my oldest was eight, he was in a baseball tournament, and uh, the parent, or the, I'm sorry, the manager of the other team was yelling at this poor 17-year-old umpire the whole game about these calls. And the, <laughs> the manager finally said something, and the umpire turned to him and said, you're out. You're gone. You're, I'm kicking you out. And you can't come back for the next game either. And he's like, you're ridiculous. And the umpire turned around and said, you're ridiculous for being kicked out by somebody going to homecoming tonight, sir. <laughs> that was, nice. And it was, everybody was just like, oh. oh. <laughs> How bad do you have to be? <laughs> you're 40 years old and getting kicked out by a 17-year-old kid. <laughs> like, I'm a man. I'm 40. <laughs> <laughs> come at me. <laughs> 
I, I, would, I would never get kicked out of a child's uh, sports game. Adult softball game? I wait till we get to adult there you go. softball <laughs> to get kicked out of those. <laughs> It's all right, Jeff. I will say, technically, you weren't kicked out since you left before you could kick you out. <laughs> yeah. I'm like, yeah. I don't think I've been kicked out of anything ever. How about a swim event? No. Do you yell at the kids swimming? <laughs> swim no. <in> faster! <laughs> Jinx. No. I, I just swim in my lane and leave everyone else alone. The competition's... Why aren't you swimming fast enough, kid? What did you say, Brian? I got kicked out of a high school football game for fighting. Like, were you on the team? or? Yeah. Oh, well, that's different. In the middle of the game. That's, just fun, that's different. Me and it, who'd you fight? Uh, one of the opposing players. Well, at least it was the opposing players. Yeah, he hit my running back dirty. Yeah, so that's fine. Next I play, that. we just started fist fighting each other in the middle of the field. Did you keep your helmets on? <laughs> yep, sure did. Didn't really make sense. That's all that matters. Nope. <laughs> Got kicked out, though. You know what? That's that's honorable. You're backing up your running back. I have no right. issue with that. I'm like... It's not like you're a parent running onto the field. Yelling at somebody. The big question is, you know, were you, were you like third string going out after their first string? Because that's how you do it. No, no, oh. no, no. What position did you play? I was an offensive lineman. Oh, okay. Okay. All four years? Did you score four, touch, four touchdowns in a I, game? I didn't score any no. touchdowns. No. Okay. Mm. I played no fo- foots of balls. Not even soccer? Nope. Oh. I did. I did try to play football when I was younger. My dad told me no. So, and then I had to be a cheerleader, and I realized that I fucking hate being a cheerleader. So I stopped. <laughs> My uh, youngest son, he's six. His uh, one of his really good friends uh, is a girl, and she plays football. Yeah. And I think she hits harder than most of the boys. Like I, that's, I wanted to tackle people. Yeah. And my dad's like, no, you'll get hurt. That's for boys. And I was like, that's ridiculous. But this was in the 80s. And then uh, he was like, you can be a cheerleader. And there is there is no fun. There's no tackling and cheerleading. There's yeah. no rolling on the ground. That was like contact There's kicking. sport. Yeah. I wasn't allowed to play. So I'll be over here being sad. You need me on that line. I, I just really wanted to tackle people. <laughs> <laughs> Even now, huh? <laughs> Uh, I, I'm going to plead the fifth on that. <laughs> oh, okay. Different type of tackling. Sorry. She uh, likes to tackle the swimmers, I heard. <laughs> what? <No. laughs> right into the water. Tackle. <laughs> uh, okay. We had a Twitter poll of the week real quick here. You can follow us at Bad Ideas Podcast. Uh, we had, what is your favorite Thanksgiving film? We try to do this every year. This year, though, we actually got decent quality films. Shut up, Jeff. I know you don't like playing strange automobiles. I don't either. Yeah, it should be on the list. I don't have okay. no problem with that. It's Planes, Trains, Automobiles, Scent of a Woman. hoo This is the first time I realized Scent of a Woman was a Thanksgiving movie. I did, too. That's why I looked online. <laughs> I honestly didn't realize that any of these were. Uh, the Ice Storm and Adam's Family Values. The fuck's the Ice Storm? I've never no heard of it. Uh, yeah, I don't a, know what the Ice Storm is. It's a Thanksgiving meal, a dinner, and they all get trapped there because of an ice storm. Is this a it's horror a, film? Nineteen no, nineteen ninety seven. Who's in it? I don't know. Some at the time there was actually famous people, and I was looking online. At the like, time there were famous <laughs> people, no longer famous. <laughs> well, it's like a Scott in the nineties, famous now. No, nobody well, knows like who they are. Who are those people? <laughs> Do you know Scott Speedman's on Grey's Anatomy? No, <laughs> I, I found that out. Who is who is that person? Uh, Jeff, who's Scott Speedman? Uh, he's going to be the next up and coming star in the early two thousands. What was his breakout role? Uh, Felicity was that where he was? Well, from? no, but then the I... movie, the movie. Oh, uh, Underworld. Yes, for months. I s- still don't know who this person is. That's fine. Nobody does. <laughs> oh, excellent. He's on Grey's Anatomy. So for months, who who watches Grey's Anatomy? Oh, My sister. Know. Oh, there. <laughs> okay, who watches Grey's Anatomy? Who works in a hospital? Let's go that way. <laughs> My sister. <laughs> you don't even have a sister. <laughs> no. Uh, I think... Does Dr. Dana? She did watch it, but that was before she actually started working in the you, hospital. you got to applaud Grey's Anatomy. It started with her as what? Doing her uh, rotations or what's it called? Residency. Residency. I don't know. I never watched it. You're just proving that I don't watch but it because I didn't... <laughs> Jamie is going to literally no. take this person through their whole career. By the time the series is over... I mean, it's been on for like 20 years already. 19 seasons. Yeah, that's, mm-hmm. that's like 20. Yeah. That's wild. <laughs> oh, that's a good Thanksgiving movie. I like that one. What? Uh, Joy at Luck Club. 
No, no, that's not next. I just found out that was a Thanksgiving movie right this second. <laughs> uh, back to Scott Spiven real quick, Jeannie. He was literally, <laughs> for months, was going to be the next big thing. Every magazine back in the 90s was like, this is his breakout role. Early He's, 2000s. Early 2000s, sorry. He's going to be the star, you know, the next big Keanu Reeves guy. And then Underworld came out. <laughs> and he did not become the next big star. So. Oh, grumpier old men. He Grumpy old was men. really good in the first season of Animal Kingdom. Oh, he was in Animal Kingdom? Yeah, the TV show. Yeah. On yeah. T- TV, TNT. TNT. Yeah, yeah, he was in the first season. Oh. He was really good in it. So good that they got rid of him. Anyways, so here you go. In last place, the ice storm. Zero percent. Nobody voted for that. Uh, mine that's, yeah. that's, says 43%. That's not what mine says. Yeah, you. Oh, that's enough. That's not correct. Uh, the intern forgot to change that. <laughs> this is the new one. To, <laughs> zero percent. Sorry. Um, Scent of a Woman came in second or third with three percent of the vote. Hooah. And winning 59 percent to 38 percent. Planes, trains, automobiles above. Adam's family values. Yeah. I voted for Home for the Holidays. Oh, okay, okay. That's I, the movie I'm looking for. Thank you. I you, voted for Knives Out. That's a great one. Is that a Thanksgiving film? Which it's on list. my list of oh. top forty <laughs> Thanksgiving movies. Yep. Well, if I knew that was Thanksgiving, then I'd vote for that. Here we go. In, Son-in-law. Oh. Nope. Can't vote for that. Uh, in the 1970s, this is uh, the ice storm. In the 1970s, an outwardly wholesome Jesus. family begins cracking at the seams over the course of a tumultuous Thanksgiving break. What was that word? Yeah. Tumultuous. <laughs> tumultuous. I think there's a couple extra L's in there, Jason. The f- elves? Elves. <laughs> yes. yes. The father, Kevin Klein, seeks fulfillment by cheating on his wife, Joan Allen. I heard with, of both of them. With neighborhood seductress Janie Sigourney Re- Weaver. I heard of her, too. Their teenage daughter, Christina Ricci, Ricci, dabbles in sexual affairs, too, with Janie's son, Mikey, Elijah Wood. Whoa. I heard of all those people. Nothing. Yeah. Nothing the, about this movie reminds me of anything. The strained relations continue until an ice storm strikes. Dun, dun, dun. It was made in 1997. So just let you know. It's on uh, Netflix right now, if you'd like to watch it. So let's see who else. Toby Maguire's in this. Christina Ricci. Mm-hmm. There's some director, big names. Director Ang Lee. Katie Holmes. Ooh, an Ang Lee movie. Katie Holmes. Wow. Allison Janney. This is the this doesn't story. seem like an Ang Lee movie. There's no like, like, kicks. I don't know. I might have to watch this. No hidden dragons. No Incredible no. Hulk. Wow. Not never heard of it. Nope. No, I never heard of it either. And. Obviously, no one else cared to. <laughs> well, according to the one you sent me, everyone cared about this movie. That, that's the wrong thing. <sighs> the outline you sent says that it won. You know what people do care about? Cincinnati Comic Expo, September 23rd through, oh, no, no, September 22nd through the 24th, uh, Cincinnati Convention Center. Come on down, get your tickets at CincinnatiComicExpo.com in February. Uh, people that are going to be there, Ross McQuan. Uh, uh, Hayden Christensen, nope. Scott Speedman, nope. Uh, Danny DeVito, DeVito, Bonaducci. <laughs> Danny Va- Bonaducci, and Danny Trejo. They're having a Danny, uh, uh, Danny They're Elfman. A Danny Elfman. Elfman. Yep. They're having a uh, Ooh, a Danny an panel. Danny panel. <laughs> yep, an all Danny panel. <laughs> uh, and also Hugh Jackman. So come on down. None of these guys have been confirmed. Is uh, he going to be singing and dancing? I hope so. I mean, he is going to be in the next, uh, oh, oh, God. Wolverine, Deadpool? Yes. Hello, my baby. My, Hello, my, my brain daughter. went completely blank on the name of him. It does every single time. I, and I, I don't know why. Tell I enjoy every why. one of the movies. Tell Cannot keep why. the name of. Uh, Brian. Yep. I heard you saw the Tulsa King this week. At- I sure did. Uh, did you oh. say the toss-up king? Yeah, well, you know what? Never mind. <laughs> you have a question in your yeah, listener Yeah, so we just feedback. went to listener feedback for nope. that? Nope, never mind. Uh, Jim, what'd you watch this week? Anything? Black Panther, Wanda, Wakanda Forever. But we'll talk about that in our listener feedback. Okay. Uh, anyone else watch anything different? Uh, Grey's Anatomy. Dragons. Grey's Anatomy. What'd you say, Jeannie? I finished the House of Dragons. And? Your opinion? It. I liked it. It, it was great, wasn't it? 
Yeah, I really enjoyed it. And I got to the point where I didn't see Doctor Who by the end of it, so that's a win for me. Because <laughs> when it started, I'm like, that's just Doctor Who. This is weird. Oh. I don't like it. <laughs> David Tennant? Matt Smith. Yes. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> because he's the only Doctor Who. I'm shaking he's my head He's the current Doctor Who. Is he? David Tennant, number 10, came back. Oh. Um, the last transformation, it turned back into number 10. Why? I have no clue. Oh, okay. I don't watch the show. But you knew you came back. Well, yeah, because it's on all the geek news things I read. Oh. Okay. Good for you, David? Tenet? Uh, the Purple Man. He is the Purple Man. Yes. Uh, oh, really? Have you finished that? Uh, yeah. Have you finished <laughs> Jessica? <laughs> yeah, just finish the first season. Uh, we almost finished She-Hulk. We have one episode left. Does that count? No. 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 One, that's, that's only... That's the episode that's weird. You need to watch it. But no, it's not Jessica. Hmm. Uh, anyone else watch anything? 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 I watched the Yellowstone premiere. Oh, I did too. I haven't Michael. watched any of Yellowstone. Hmm. So you're five seasons behind? Apparently. Is that Isn't how many seasons, seasons there Five seasons of that? It was the fifth season. Start of fifth season. Wow. John Dutton is governor. I'm the governor. I don't want to be here. to Charles S. Dutton? Yes. Yes. Uh, rock, rock. Uh, what did you think about it? I enjoyed it very much. Yep, yep. I enjoy how bad Jamie sucks. Jamie is awesome. The worst. Beth, like Beth does not like, like the him. actor is bad, or like, no, like the, the actor ca- so good that you're just like, man, I fucking hate this guy. The the character. The character is p- portrayed so shittily. Yep, and he's it's just so good. <laughs> Okay, like so in, it's so bad, but it's so good. Gotcha. Okay. Yeah. He's such a good villain, and he's such a worm in it. But he's not even, like, a villain. He's just, like, a, a weasel. Yeah. But, like, <laughs> yes. Do you, do you think at the end of the series that he's going to get his John probably John's affection? Or probably. Like respect? At, some, at some point, he's going to get it back, probably. But just the funniest... Like not really a spoiler, love but and affection. the funniest thing to me watching that was at the like when he was about to make his speech. Yes, and everyone left the room and they turned the lights off, and he was still just standing in the room. <laughs> yes, <laughs> like everybody was just like, "Fuck this guy!" <laughs> like we don't care about him, and he's just standing there, like, oh, "All right." Oh, so he's Jamie Kennedy. <laughs> well, the best part about him is too. Like anytime the camera's on his John Dudden, like he tries to be like make an appearance. Like even when the uh, when he's getting sworn in, he everybody's walking away. He turns around. Jamie turns around, waving. <laughs> yeah. Um, I will say that I do not care about Casey and his wife's storyline last season at all. I was bored to tears. I agree, and I What's hated the this shine band. Yes. What'd you say, Jeannie? What's the storyline? I don't know. He was trying to find himself, and then he had a vision that their marriage is going to end, and I don't know. I just don't give a shit. Um, but then this, Thanks for clarifying. That was pretty much it. <laughs> he went on... Uh, his wife is Native American, so she he went on, like, a retreat, like a spiritual retreat, which was fine, but, like, mm-hmm. everything else was just... It was weird, like, his whole journey. You agree, Brian? He's not in his head. He's eating a snickerdoodle. Um, but yeah, <laughs> this is the worst fucking pop tart I've ever had. Why did didn't you have it last week? I wasn't here. Oh, you were here last week. Sorry, the snickerdoodle pop tart. Wait, are you missing. eating? Oh, yeah. You're comparing my homemade cookies to snickerdoodle pop tarts. Oh, it's bad. I, no, I was actually I, comparing your homemade cookies to snickerdoodle Oreos. Oh, we have those too. <laughs> Brian, did you think that there was like dry as anything? Yeah. Awful. Yeah. I think there's more crumbs on the table than there were pop tart <laughs> in the that container. <laughs> Awful. Um, did, did you makes... step on the package before you ate it? No. No. It was whole when he opened no, it. No, that's that's only a Hello Jeff move right there. <laughs> what is the Hello Jeff treat this week? Anything in honor of Jeannie and Toledo? <laughs> well, there wasn't. Oh. Maybe next week? <laughs> no, th- this week it was in honor of going down to. Uh, Tennessee, and mm-hmm. we uh, loaded up on uh, uh, beef jerky. Moon pies and uh, RC Cola. Moon pies and RC Cola, yeah. And beef jerky? And beef jerky. 
Beef jerky's expensive, so the Hello Jeff box was a pretty good one this month then, or this week. Well, we got a deal because we bought in bulk. We did. And we got an Amber yeah, And box. they were all expired. <laughs> Shh, quiet. <laughs> They're not expired if you scratch off um, the date. It's jerky. <laughs> <laughs> that can't expire. Mm, that's that's literally the, the concept of beef jerky. <laughs> jerky boys will say something else about that. <laughs> Have an argument. Oh, they expired. Uh, let's see here. Uh, Jim has now handed me Snickerdoodle Oreos. Inside, it looks like birthdays, like a, the birthday confetti ones, because the cream has, like, green and red on it. The inside looks like birthdays. No, the birthday flavor. It's cinnamon-flavored cream, artificially flavored, and crunchy sugar crystals. Mm. Oh, I guess the oh, green is the no. sugar crystals and the red is Nothing the cinnamon. Nothing says love. Like, like sugar Oreo. crystal. <laughs> it's all natural. Don't worry, Jason hates uh, rock candy. They are vegan, so they're good there. I guess it's okay. It's It smells very cinnamony. Uh-huh. Cinnamony. I really hate cinnamon. You're not Maybe, allergic to cinnamon, are you? I am not. Okay. Maybe too cinnamony in the smell. I will not give Brian the crab cake flavored Oreos. Thank you. You have crab cake flavored Oreos? Is this a real thing? No, but he's allergic to uh, shellfish. <laughs> oh, okay. <laughs> he what if it doesn't use real shellfish? It's artificially flavored with... I'm still not going to risk it. Okay. Jim will give him jellyfish uh, Oreos, though. That okay. he will. Well, those are just jelly and fish. <laughs> yeah. Oh. oh. <laughs> mm. <laughs> Next week's Hello <laughs> Jeff <Plus Oreo. laughs> Halibut and Grape Jelly. Oh, halibut or is halibut jelly. too expensive? We just got uh, white T- fish. Tilapia. 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 <laughs> Tilapia and Grape Jelly. Oh, we're just going to do sardines. It's fine. The oh. bones, they this dissolve while you eat them. This isn't really <laughs> any, like, it's not a snickerdoodle. I don't, I mean, it's just a, I mean, it's a cookie, but. Yeah. <laughs> That's the problem. Snickerdoodles, I guess the texture adds a lot to what makes a snickerdoodle a snickerdoodle. Mm -hmm. Yeah. So a crunchy ass cookie like this isn't going to give you that snickerdoodle. No, snickerdoodles are supposed to be soft. Yeah. Exactly. Mm -hmm. I know snickerdoodles, and you, Oreo. And you, Oreo, are no no snickerdoodle. snickerdoodle. (laughs) That's. Yeah, we we are doing our baking for holidays this year on my mom's birthday. So on the 17th of December. What are you making? Um, we always make snickerdoodles, mm-hmm. peanut butter blossoms, shortbread cookies. Um, we do a chocolate oatmeal cookie that my sister-in-law has, heard the recipe for. And then we rotate the other two. We've done melting moments. We've done our gingerbread. We've done molasses Ugh. with crystallized ginger. Shut up. That's my favorite cookie. Mm-mm. You take that back. <laughs> molasses cookies are the best. And then we do a chocolate um, haystack. It's a no bake cookie with coconut and chocolate, and it's good. That sounds good. Mm-hmm. Are we making a rice pie this year? Now for the is. Floppy Awards, remember? That's true. <laughs> uh, December eighteenth, the Floppy Awards will be recorded. Uh, they'll be coming out uh, sometime in the next two weeks after that. Um, mm-hmm. They usually come out right before the new year. Yes. So make sure you start looking at Bad Ideas Podcast because we'll be having. Yeah, we some are. Goals. We're way behind too on our bribes. Yes, yes. We, um, we've dropped right, the ball a little bit. I always just bring mine. So true. That's true. We're, yeah, we're at the mid November. Yeah, and we haven't been. Oh, no, no, you guys bribes, haven't been no talking floppies. about them though either. Brian, I need you to start putting some polls out there. You got uh, it for the Floppy Awards, Jimmy. I need you to get something out there. Just yeah, oh, not... yeah, we need to come up with Canadian of the Year nominees. Yes, yes. I'm just going to eat my cookie. Next week, since, since it's Thanksgiving week, I don't know what that means, but next week we're going to get our can- Canadian uh, of the Year nominations in. We have to bring them in. So No just pressure. Letting you know. Just letting you know. Next I, week. I think it's Scab Jeff's year. Are you going to nominate Scab Jeff? Probably. Probably. Okay. I will say Dr. Dana and Doug both did a really good job this year. Yeah, I think they, Neil and Annalise should be Canadian of the Year. They could, but they would have to do a podcast first. Uh, they have one on again. Have you not listened? They have one on again? 
Yeah, they they've had a couple episodes out. No, oh, until they stopped. Yeah, I mean, come on. They're allowed to go at <laughs> it, it's a leisurely fun more, activity for them. They retire more than Ric Flair. Okay, that's all. Woo! I'm Woo! Woo! <laughs> okay. So, so is that your official uh, nominee? Nominee. Yeah, that's my official nominee. Okay. So you're <laughs> n- nominating them as a couple. Yes. Okay. So we got because I can't choose one over the other. They're both awesome. Okay. That's like trying to choose who your favorite Hobie uh, host is. It's Jeff. I mean, it's me. <laughs> <laughs> People do like you, Jeannie. <laughs> you say that like it's a surprise. What? No, I don't mean anything. Shockingly, <laughs> people do like you. I don't know if you know that or not. <laughs> We're very flabbergasted, but people enjoy you when they enjoy us. <laughs> I was going to say. Okay. The negative comments go down when you come on the show. <laughs> that is true. We have not had a one-star review with you on the episode. <laughs> Woot, woot. <laughs> oh, only when Jeff eats Subway. <laughs> well, people don't like people eating on podcasts. Well, fuck it. We have snacks on our show. We I, show I it. think it was the Subway. They just hate Subway. <laughs> That's right. Who doesn't? We, we've actually turned into a big part of our show. <laughs> yeah, I think we're doing snacks. We, we <laughs> took that review and, and turned it right back around on them. You didn't right. like that one. We're going to do it more. <laughs> fuck you. you. You don't like us eating? Oh, Big so part of our show. I can't eat a sandwich? Let me get crunchy cookies. <laughs> <laughs> They're like a sandwich. Chips. And potato all, chips. All in. Yeah. Uh, speaking, uh, I thought of you, Jim, the other day. So my kids are looking through the to- Target toy catalog for the year. Yeah. Circling everything. That really helps them the figuring out gifts. Yeah, when they choose everything. Yes. I mean, um, this and is hilarious. You can't I have a much different experience. Gift, <laughs> It's true. Uh, What's Jim, worse, they choose everything or when they choose the one really expensive thing that there's no chance they're going to get, and it's the only thing they choose? PlayStation yeah. 5 for my son last year. <laughs> uh, you didn't buy it for him? Come on. He did get it. He did. Oh, well, then he then he was smart. I'm going to ask for this. Uh, my comment was, our comment was, you will not get this much. We will not spend this much on you ever again. So just calm down. <laughs> like, I uh-huh. bought my son a fridge Then he went to the year. hospital. <laughs> <laughs> Sucker! <laughs> <laughs> we did get our first bill for that. Oh, yeah? Yeah. Um, it was free, right? I, I like how your voice went up. <laughs> uh, yeah. Uh, 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 the surgery, just for like the actual scoping, not the labor of the doctors or anything, just the scope, it was 1300 Oh, so, that's mm-hmm. very reasonable. Yeah. Yeah. For 35 minutes of fun. Um, yeah. Yeah. Uh, I just talked to my dad today who... About a month ago, had a pretty extensive back surgery done, mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. and he was in the hospital for two days mm-hmm. afterwards. So three days total. Uh, he got his uh, he got his bill today forty thousand two hundred and forty four thousand oh, dollars. Well, that's for everything, mm-hmm. though. Yep. Okay. I thought, that was just for the hospital stay. I mean, that was like the surgery, the everything involved in the surgery, the stay, the me- like everything. Two hundred and forty four thousand dollars. Did he pay cash? Uh, he, he oh, did. Yeah. You Money get a five percent discount. <laughs> you pay cash in Kentucky. Well, I, w- I will say a five percent discount is a lot when you're talking about two hundred thousand dollars. This is true. Well, you got to pay it all at once. You can't do installments. They want it. Boom! Here you go. They, that's a five percent discount for you paying your bill immediately. I'll pay you twenty dollars a month. Twenty five percent. So, with that being said, I'm really going to start needing to be paid in money now, not IOUs. <laughs> um, well, the cash. IOUs are just as good as money. Just turn them into the hospital. I would say yes, but then I, my son's getting medical bills, wow. so it's kind of a push. Well, you better sell yeah. that PlayStation 5 then. <laughs> That's a good call. I we, mean, I guess we could pay you in crypto. Yes. <laughs> we'll get to that. We'll get to that. <laughs> uh, Brian, to be fair, we hit our deductible for the year. <laughs> yes. Yeah. I think he may have, too. Yeah. <laughs> I'm not sure. I think he hit his deductible for the next 30 years. <laughs> he doesn't hit Unfortunately, his they reset at the beginning of every year. <laughs> if he doesn't hit his deductible at 240000 there might be something wrong with our health insurance. Just... Uh, that's your tipping point? <laughs> like, that is it? I... Down the hall. 
Three Damn. days in a psych ward, $19,000. Well, think of the memories, though. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, can you really put a price tag on the memories? <laughs> All right. What are we doing here? <laughs> Complaining about our health care system. <laughs> That's what we're doing. With that, let's get to listener feedback. One. You guys know what that means, right? It's the bomb listener feedback. Yes, that is correct. Woo. It's brought to us by <laughs> Snickerdoodle, uh, Snickerdoodle uh, Pop Tarts. Yes. Also known as sand in your mouth. If you're looking for a jellyfish covered in sand treat, <laughs> eat a Snickerdoodle Pop Tart. And who isn't? Coming soon to Hello Jeff. <laughs> <laughs> All right. Uh, we start off listener feedback with that one guy. Number Eight one pants. Pants. Seven. Can't give yourself a nickname. Mm-hmm. Uh, Big D. <laughs> Dad? No. Doug. It's Doug. Uh, Doug says, thoughts on Black Panther? 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 <laughs> thoughts on Black Panther? Wakanda forever? It's not that easy, is it? <laughs> I, just, I still have that snickerdoodle thing and stuck in my mouth. <laughs> So that's she what said. she said. That's why we don't put sand in our mouth, Brian. <laughs> I'm still learning. All right, am I going first on Black Panther here? <laughs> yeah, go ahead. Loved it. Someone who has seen it should probably answer Doug's question. Okay. Yeah. I've seen it. Time out. But no, Brian, give us your review. <laughs> <laughs> um, My review. Uh, it was excellent. <laughs> I've not seen it. <laughs> I was really... The, the, there was not a lot of Panthers. There, I've, I expected more Panthers. <laughs> yeah. 60% of the time. <laughs> Works every time. There was zero sex panther in there. <laughs> Good job. Sorry. Zero sex panthers. <laughs> I, I loved it, and I thought it was a great uh, uh, story uh, exploring uh, loss and grief. It was a three-hour case study on grief. Which uh, is fine. Only two on hours grief? and 47 minutes. It's true. Uh, anything else on it? Well, I don't want to say anything that's spoilery. We give it a week. We give it a week or so. Uh, I loved it. I thought it was very well done. Uh, Black Panther was only in it. The costume car- superhero was only in it for like 15 minutes. But uh, I'm not a big um, main actress. Letitia Wright? Yeah. Uh, fan, but she did a phenomenal job. And I don't mean this like as a fanboy. I it, She deserves anything that she gets for that. If she gets any nominees or anything. She won't. But it was... I thought she did a great job. I would say all the acting was top notch. Yeah. I don't think I felt anybody was weak in the mm-hmm. acting, um, and the the writing and and direction and and vi- vi- uh, views or the cinematography mm-hmm. or whatever. I thought was great. Jim, I thought it was meh. Really? Uh, I put it Jim. middle of the road Marvel film. Mm-hmm. Did you like it better than the first one? No, I like the first one better. Okay. Um, I love the first one. Yeah. Probably in my top five. Again, uh, yeah, the story of grief and everything, but it was a big, uh, just thing, a big thing to uh, Chadwick Boseman, mm-hmm. and oh, which again, he was a great actor in the yeah. first boy film and everything. I don't have a problem with that, but uh, I didn't think it drove the st- whole story. Uh, it, did, it didn't really. F- like push the Marvel uh, the again it was the last what movie of the uh, fourth phase yes and yep. again it did it did bring in Namor Namor who was probably my favorite character in the movie mm-hmm. which surprised me because I'm not a big fan of his from anything else he's been in no nobody's a big fan of Namor from the comics no. yeah. well he is the what second oldest uh, mutant a uh, second oldest uh, character. character. Who's the oldest? In the MCU. Yeah, I'm Apocalypse. Sure who's, who's older? Older? You mean as in, as far as... Uh, that was... When, the, when they're... Introduced in the comics. Introduced. Yeah, not not somebody who is thousands of years old. No. Oh, okay. No, but somebody like... Who's the oldest? Human Torch? The original Human uh, Torch? The, the original Cyborg? Human Torch? Part Cyborg, whatever. Yeah. yeah. It, it, he was... Uh, they had him in the robe, like the think back, back with uh, Captain America. Captain America, yeah, he's in the little too for the World's Fair. Yep, yep. Uh, I agree. Like Namor, like I cannot stand the character. I think he's awful. 
I don't care how many times you try to fix him in the comic books, uh, but I thought he was phenomenal in this one. Um, really, Aquaman probably had better CGI graphics, don't you think? No, no. The underwater scenes look so much better in this than they did in Aquaman. It's amazing. Like the, That's one of the first things I saw was like, wow, this makes Aquaman look really bad visually. I liked the visuals in Aquaman. I didn't I have liked, a problem with it. I liked them as being more fantastic. More fantasy like. More fantasy like. Like when they were having their like big meeting and everyone was there. I mean, I just in Aquaman. I just mm-hmm. thought that looked terrible. You know. I, I I I enjoyed the visuals in Aquaman. So I, I again I liked kind of the brighter, uh, yeah, more fan the more fantasy feel of it. But I actually didn't mind Aquaman in the film. I will say that. I, I um, think there were I, there were parts of. Uh, Dialogue and stuff, and that mm-hmm. were slow. And the Black Manta character was concretely yeah. was horrible. Yes. yes, yeah. Hey, we have Black Manta. It's like, what? how could you sit there and see that say that Aquaman was a good movie, Jason? I didn't say it was a good movie. I said it was enjoyable enough. I liked it enough. Okay, maybe it's because <clears> my low my bar is low on DC. Maybe that's it. I mean, I didn't think but Aqu- that I mean, go ahead. I was like, that doesn't mean that you can... Okay, my bar is low, so this was better than the other shitty movies that yes. came out. That doesn't mean that it was an enjoyable movie. He's in love with Jason Momoa. I do love Jason Momoa. I, I was say, like, I, not he enough is to a watch very Game handsome man. <laughs> and until I saw C, I thought he could not act at all. Because in Aquaman, the only thing he had going for him is that his shirt was off. Mm. He and then acted at the end badly. of the movie, he put a shirt on. Yeah. And, and you're like, oh, yeah. But I mean, when I watched C, I was like, okay, he can actually act. That he's a good actor. But no, Aquaman made me felt like he was a n- dumb dumb. Uh, so he's a great actor because he made you believe he was a dumb dumb. <laughs> no, I thought he was a bad actor, oh. not that he was a dumb dumb. I was like, this was completely unrealistic. I didn't like it. Are they making Aquaman too? Yeah. Yes. Mm-hmm. Yes. They- that was the whole thing about the girl who plays. His love interest because Amber of Heard. the Johnny Depp shit. Yeah. I'm yeah, like, I can't remember to, her name because who like, cares? Every report for, for a week was how much Amber Heard's part was getting cut out of the movie, <laughs> and it kept getting more and more cut out every week. It's they're like, like, oh, she's not in it at all. She's on vacation. The final film is going to be, hey, is that your wife? Yeah, she's <laughs> over there. She's fine. And since Mira left before the movie started. <laughs> <laughs> they should have King Shark eat her. Nom, 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 nom. Uh, there's your th- there's our thoughts on Black Panther, Doug. There we go, Doug. Hope you uh, and, Aquaman. and Aquaman. Hopefully that answers your question. <laughs> there's your uh, thoughts on Aquaman, Doug. <laughs> what else you got? All right. Uh, and the same Black Panther. Next we have from Greg at the Legend Demand Thirty Five. Hmm. Uh, nice. Greg asks me, huh. "Did I watch Tulsa King with Sylvester Stallone? And if so, what are your thoughts on it?" Yes, Greg, I did watch it. Wow, with Sylvester Stallone? How I, was that? Yeah, yeah, I just uh, sitting... I DM'd him on Instagram, set it up. He's oh, a super okay. nice guy. I thought maybe he came to your home to watch. No, I had to go out to, to Florida. <laughs> okay. He paid you to go, he paid yeah, you to go out? Yeah, yeah, paid. Nice yep, <laughs> yep. Um, uh, I did watch it. I was it was, first class? Uh, <laughs> no, it was... Um, it was, uh, it was private jet. Private jet. Oh, yes. <laughs> well, I would say that's first class. Oh, I had to fly. I had to fly yeah. a plane. I've never <laughs> done that. <laughs> that's pretty awesome. I, I mean, like I made it back. I'm here. So yeah. he only killed 16 people, but he made it. <laughs> We're not sure they're dead. <laughs> it was, and it's Florida. <laughs> <laughs> I was aiming, He's like, I was trying to bug Bunny Florida with, with <laughs> Are the Are you the next Florida man? <laughs> <laughs> no, because I'm not from Florida. Did you take the ride at Albuquerque? Yeah. Uh, I'm sorry. So, Greg, I did watch this, the first episode of this show. Uh, I was very pleasantly surprised with how good it actually was. I wasn't expecting a lot, only because... I've seen the preview for this show 7,554 <laughs> times. I don't even know what this is. And uh, I, was, I was pleasantly surprised with, with how good the first episode was. So I'm halfway through it, and then my kids came in, and I was like, well, oh, can't watch this. Uh, there's a lot of F-bombs in, yeah. in a gangster film. Uh, I'm shocked. What? I know. I is it like... streaming on something? Paramount Plus. Mm-hmm. 
Oh, that's why I have no clue what it is. Every Sunday, new episodes yes. come out. Um, I, I really enjoyed the first it, half that I've seen. Yeah, it, it was very enjoyable. Uh, I like how they how they set it up. You'll see it when you watch the episode. You know how they're setting up the season. Um, and um, I can't remember her name now. The Andrea Beth. Savage, Andrew, Andrew Savage from I'm Sorry. Yes, is plays like one of the the main characters in it. I was pleasantly surprised by that because it's not a comedy. It, it, there is comedic parts though. Martin Starr, very funny. So, what is this? What is this supposed to be about? Because I don't have Paramount Plus. So Sylvester Stallone is a, ma- he's in the mafia, and he takes a, a prison sentence for the boss. So he doesn't go to jail, does 25 years in jail, and then gets out. And that's how the show starts. Is like he's getting out of jail, and he's going to the family to get his payback, get his retro, you know, whatever they owe him. Yeah. And their gift to him is sending him to Tulsa, Oklahoma, to set up nice. a to set up operation as a as you know the boss of Tulsa. And he's like. Screw you. I don't want to go to Tulsa. You know, I did 25 years for you, blah, blah, blah. And they're like, we're giving you a city. Yeah. <laughs> it's yours. But yeah, I did you're like, giving me Tulsa. <laughs> I did like the part. What do you, what you got for me? Tulsa. What's that? It's a city in Oklahoma. No shit. <laughs> like, yeah. I can read a map. <laughs> and even Chandler didn't want to go to Tulsa. Kyle Chandler? Mm-hmm. Chandler Bong. Oh, sorry. I thought you were talking Friday Night Lights. Sorry. Um, so, no, yeah, no, I'm... Friends. Oh. And um, who, what is the guy's name, the, um, the bartender? Uh, Sam Malone. No. Morty. He was in, he was in Friday Night Lights, the movie. Billy Bob Thornton. No, the, he was a kid in the movie. Halle Berry. He was the quarterback. He was in Four Brothers. Oh, he wow. was Garrett, Garrett, Garrett Headland. Headland. Yes. Uh, love that guy. Can't remember his name. Who was the running back in Friday Night Lights? It was Booby Williams. He was the fullback. Oh, that's right. He wasn't the quarterback. He was kind of the Riggins character. Yeah, that's right. You, I, I sit corrected. Okay. Um, I so want from you four to brothers. stand corrected. Well, I'm no, sitting. sitting. <laughs> no, but stand. Stand up, Brian. I, I, I can't because then I wouldn't be talking into the microphone. <laughs> uh, so there you go, Greg. Uh, I enjoyed it, and then I can't wait for more. Well, I'm glad you have something with Sylvester Stallone that you love. Because, I mean, you don't have enough that you love from him. Uh, next next year, I think Paramount has a Oscar uh, series coming out for Sylvester Stallone, too. Just a spin They do off. not. Oh, sorry. Pretty cool. Uh, they do not. He oh. is returning Why? as Why? King Shark. He is returning as he King ha- Shark? It is confirmed that he is returning as King Shark as well. Nom, 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 nom. That nom, will nom, be nom, awesome. Nom, nom. I'll enjoy that. So you can combine his two characters and he can be Tulsa King Shark. Oh, have like a shark it. in a Ooh. desert. Trademark, that sounds trademark, great. Trademark. Tra- trademark. Thank you. Uh, what else you got, Brian? Uh, let's see. Next from Canadians of the Year at Canadian of the Year. Oh. I really don't think your wife asked this question. She did not. Yes. I can I can confirm <laughs> that this question was not asked by her. Um, the Canadians of the Year or the Canadian would like to know: <laughs> After being fired from AEW, how soon till CM Punk shows up on the podcast? I'm assuming they mean our podcast. Yes. Uh, I mean, I gotta. No, I gotta tweet out to him. Pod- tweet out to him every day. Yeah, I'll just keep tweeting him uh, and see if he will come on our show. Okay. Um, we would love to have him. Yeah, I mean, whenever he wants to come on. Yeah, he doesn't. Like even any do- wrestler wants to come on, you would gladly accept them. It doesn't have to be uh, yeah, just I ones would. who have been fired. No, there there, <laughs> there are some we won't have on. Yes. Like who? Uh, Mr. Rick- McMahon, the Hollywood honk. Rick Flair, <laughs> Rick Flair, uh, Andre the Giant. Um, You're just naming dead the ultimate wrestlers. <laughs> Rick Flair's alive. Kerry Von Erich, Kevin Von Erich, Eric Von Erich, Chris Von Erich. <laughs> <laughs> Pretty much anybody named Von Erich. <laughs> There's one left. <laughs> <laughs> we'll have him on or her. I don't it's know. Him. Okay. <laughs> and he's got sons now, so they're wrestlers. Mm-hmm. You know what? What has that ever turned bad for the Von Erichs? <laughs> To become wrestlers. <laughs> They'll be fine. They'll be fine. Hey, we know who they are. That's true. That's true. Should we get the big boss man on? Well, I think he's dead. <laughs> How about Virgil? Can we get Virgil? No. 
Scott Norton. <laughs> we don't want Virgil. We do not want Virgil. Can, I get, can we get Mabel? Oh, or Viscera. Is he dead? Who's the one who yes. gave birth to a hand? Oh, oh, that was May Young. May Young. China. May, yeah, get her. She's dead. China. <laughs> China's dead. <laughs> like the country. China's boobs. <laughs> like the country. Yeah. I, I I just read a little little article about uh, Viscera with getting chewed out by the Undertaker out back behind the the scenes for purposely hurting people in the ring. There, there are, uh, if you watch like some Royal Rumbles with him in it, mm-hmm. those guys are taking shots at him in there. Oh, yeah. And Tatanka, I have watched like for three years in a row, Tatanka, like as soon as he comes in, Tatanka just unwails, or, like just wails off on him. And it's like, what did he do to piss you off? Like, he, you... Hurt, he hurt like five, including The Undertaker, he hurt like yeah, five wrestlers. Well, he uh, broke his uh, orbital, orbital bone. bone. Yeah. yeah, that's why he had the mask uh-huh. on the one year. He screwed up somebody's back. He. <laughs> <laughs> it's just funny. Like, if you watch those old ones, like, Tatanka is one of those guys that he just unloads on, like, whoa. <laughs> like, I mean. Feels like he's such a great guy. Yeah, we'll bring him on. I will Good give sport. The Undertaker credit for, you know, not purposely hurting people or Correct. whatnot. But he also purposely wouldn't sell, so I don't know. He did crucify Steve Austin. I think that was real. Yeah, well, that might have been real. Yeah, but he's been buried alive several times, Jeff, and yeah. still lives. But, wh- but what he tale. wouldn't do is like help another uh, wrestler look like they're good. He let them bury him alive. <laughs> <laughs> like what bad wrestler would do that? But from what the talk, Yokozuna, he was one of the most respected guys in in wrestling, and mm-hmm. they really weren't asking him to put yeah. people over. No, like the other guys weren't looking for him to put them over. Was he buried alive? Not Maybe. ever. Okay, several times. Okay. And I hear Sarah <laughs> does not like him anymore. <laughs> so his wife. I who who is Sarah? Is that because he, she had he had her t- uh, tattoo covered up? Oh yes. She, go ahead, Jeff. Tell Jeannie who Sarah is. Uh, his ex-wife. He had her name tattooed on his throat. <laughs> yes. And then well, they let's broke talk up. about how dumb you have to be to get anybody's name tattooed on your body ever, especially on your throat. <laughs> so no. when everybody looks at you, that's what they see is that person's name. Guess I won't mm-hmm. get the gym tattoo anymore on my is throat. It, was Ow. it Sarah with an H or Sarah with an A? A. Mm-hmm. I thought you were getting gym on your forehead. No, that's going to be Brian. Oh, he right. he ended up turning it into Saran Wrap tattoo. <laughs> ah, <laughs> Susan excellent. Sarandon. She's my favorite actress. Uh, Mr. Taker, isn't this going to hurt more? It'll be fine. <laughs> I've been buried alive several times. <laughs> and I'm still here. I can take all of the tattoo pain. <laughs> Uh, good, Ryan. What else we got? All right. So Canadians of the Year. That's about when we can expect CM Punk to show up on the podcast. <laughs> so we answer the questions completely and All to right. the best of our abilities. <laughs> All right. For or this we next just question, give me nonsense. one second. I have to pull up my. I did my homework on this question. Oh wow! Uh, it's coming from Brad Ooh. of the Cinema Guys podcast. Okay. And Brad says, "Hey Brian, can hey. you talk about civility for a bit?" Oh yes, civility. Brad. I can. You were quite popular in the listener feedback this week. Oh, I thought we were going so to have to tell him to go sad that nobody hall. asked me a question. All right. So <laughs> Richard Dreyfus has spent a lifetime championing the democratic process and the foundation blocks of our Republican democracy. What began with his involvement of helping to design and roll out LA Works, one of the most effective volunteer organizations, the Dreyfus Civics Initiative was incorporated as a 501c3 in 2008. Richard has made numerous public appearances to raise awareness for our organization and the need for civic education in our school system. Including at the Cincinnati Comic Expo. Our programs are meant to promote the advancement of civic education, Mm -hmm. civic virtue, Mm -hmm. and the role citizens can play in the success of our country. We look forward to illustrating the need for a return to civics in American education. Please visit our news page to see some of the very many public appearances Richard has made in the past. Let me ask you this, Brian. Do you think there's a need for this anymore? I watched the mid midterm elections, and I feel like everybody's been pretty civil about it. You are full of shit. Sorry, I threw up on my microphone after that comment. 
Twitter's been really good about everything. Twitter's been good about everything. They <laughs> always are. It brings the best out in people. Yeah, I've, yeah. I've been very impressed with Twitter lately. I mean, there's a lot of good things going on, you know, like drug companies giving away free uh, uh, med- medicine free to people. Free insulin, yeah. Yeah, insulin is now free. There, um, there are some small victories in the dumpster fire <laughs> that he has turned this... Uh, sight into. I mean, I heard LeBron James was going back to Cleveland. LeBron James! Mm-hmm. But... Well, it, it, it was a dumpster fire before he took it over. It's, of course it was. It, it's just went, like, it's spread to the out, other dumpsters. Out. Richard Dreyfuss took over Twitter? No, 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 oh. no, no, no. Sorry. I didn't mean to get <laughs> off topic there. Uh, you we, can, we never get off topic. Sorry. You, you can find more about uh, civility and the, the need for civics uh, in our country at the thedreyfusinitiative.org. You might want to just put as that, that as a favorite. Brad's got like three more questions for you about civics. Good. <laughs> is, is I thought he was asking about yet? the his book civility? actually is out nope. already. Nope, not that. Did you get his book? I have I have not bought it yet. Oh, okay. Um, I'm uh, anybody who wants to bribe Brian. It is bribe season. It is. <laughs> uh, last last year, your bribe was no good, Brad. So this is a chance <laughs> to make up for it. Uh, if you would like to bribe us for a floppy award, they are prestigious. Please let us know at Bad Ideas Podcast or at the History of Bad Ideas Facebook page. Um, I'm just saying, Jeannie won one year by transferring a cheesecake to us. Um, Scab I didn't Jeff. Transfer, I brought it to you. That's true. Scab Jeff won. No, no he, he didn't. didn't. His wife won because they brought us a Ozzy Osbourne bat. So, I mean, there is a lot of things, uh, good things. Scab uh, Jeff doesn't win because he doesn't vote for himself. This nickel from Graphic <laughs> Novice got us a jersey with our name on it, a hockey jersey. Well, that was pretty awesome. Hobie uh, hockey sweater. Yeah, Woo. we get a lot of good stuff around here. So if anybody would like to bribe, let us know. Uh, I got um, First Blood on Blu-ray last year. That's right. You did. Amazing. Mm-hmm. So uh, let's wrap this up. Apparently right. bringing snickerdoodles. <laughs> what did you say, Jeannie? Is that apparently bringing actual snickerdoodles? Could you bring snickerdoodles? Yeah. Okay. They're, they're, gonna be a, they're gonna be a thousand times better than that pop tart I actually ate, <laughs> and I was halfway through it. I'm like, why am I still eating this? I don't know why you ate it at all. I ate both of them. <laughs> wow, it's a very snickerdoodle podcast. Why didn't you just? Why didn't you just split it between you and Brian? Because I already it? had two myself. <laughs> <laughs> Guys. I like that you had one, and they're like, yeah, I'll go for a second one. It, looked, it was already <laughs> open. It looked like the floor of a wood shop in here after I started <laughs> eating that. Oh, man. All Where right. did all this sawdust come from? You got carpenter bees in here? <laughs> <laughs> all right, wrapping this up from Professor Number 1 at Dr. Number 1. He wants to know, are we doing a secret Santa this year for Hobie? If so... I just bid $218,750 at Julian's Auctions for a pair of Birkenstocks that were said to be worn by Steve Jobs in the late 70s and early 80s. Dibs. Um, first like, off, said to have been... offering that to be his secret Santa gift? Because I, like, I can give you much better things for $218,000. Uh, a new back for <laughs> Brian. <laughs> that, <laughs> yeah, uh... Listen, doctor number one, <laughs> I, I need that money. So if you haven't, if you haven't spent it, I can think of. I'm like, I, I got shoes I can send you. I mean, I'll I, even I, put socks in them. Uh, they, they were said to be worn by Jeannie of Hobie. Uh, Jeannie, I'll just leave my shoes here when I leave, and whatever happens to them happens to them. Jeannie. What you yeah. do on your OnlyFans page, you keep over there, okay? I'm not getting into uh, foot, feet, or shoes here. We're all done. Uh. Jason <laughs> loves feet. <laughs> uh, <laughs> anyway. <laughs> sorry. Just threw Jason, up on my mic. what's your favorite body part? <laughs> <laughs> uh, <laughs> Jim, what did you say? That this was allegedly worn by Steve Jobs? It's allegedly s- worn by Steve Jobs. Yeah. They, Those Birkenstocks were said. To be worn. S- were it's said. not proven. <laughs> it was just said that they were worn by him. You can't, there's no proof of it at all. Jim. What a great gig for Julian's. <laughs> It doesn't uh, say who said they were worn by Steve Jobs. Jim, fly to Air, fly to California, go to the Goodwill, find some really old looking Birkenstocks, and then sell them to Jolene's or put them on for Jolene's auctions website. <laughs> I just I just love the uh, South Park episode with uh, Birkenstocks. I don't remember that one. <laughs> 
uh, broken stocks are just worn by lesbians. I'm like, I like Birkenstocks they, and I don't like women. <laughs> they found out their teacher was a lesbian and they all had a crush ah. on her. And they found out that lesbians only like other lesbians. So they all wanted to become lesbians so their teacher oh. would like them. So they all wore Birkenstocks. <laughs> they were Birkenstocks and they were, uh, what, trying to what, eat carpet? Yeah. <laughs> oh. <laughs> I do remember that now. Yes. I remember that. <laughs> Okay, Jeff, give me some news of the geek music. Da 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 da. Bomb. News of the geek. Per CNN and the San Francisco Standard, where Jeannie gets all of her news from, uh, cryptocurrency. It's my favorite. Cryptocurrency uh, exchange crash has wiped out almost two billion in investor cash, affecting high-profile celebrities, pension funds, and lesser-known Bay Area billionaires. The FTX exchange ensnared many prominent investors and individuals before it crashed Tuesday, this past Tuesday, a week ago. The firm was founded by Bay Area native Sam Bankman Fried. Yeah, that doesn't sound like a fishy name. In 2019 and based in the Bahamas. I think it's actually pronounced Freed. Fried. Fuck him. As FTX filed for bankruptcy proceedings in the United States on Friday, CEO Bankman Fried, the 30-year-old founder of the exchange, resigned. Oh, like, Weird. <laughs> Weird. Uh, we're bankrupt. I don't really need to work here anymore. I'm out. Cool. <laughs> I'm all done. Hey, you're fired. Can't nope. fire me. I quit. I quit. <laughs> that was really responsible of them. For a 30-year-old? Yeah, absolutely. This guy's got his head on straight. The full extent of FTX's financial problems isn't yet known, and each day it's getting worse. Oh, yeah, it is. But multiple reports say the firm is facing an $8 billion shortfall. Without a quick infusion of equity, Bankman Fried reportedly told investors Thursday that the firm, firm was facing bankruptcy. Uh, they counted FTX, counted celebrities such as NFL star Tom Brady and ex-wife Giselle Bunchen. So this is why they got divorced. Bunchen? And Brady just signed an extension for 46 more years to play. <laughs> uh, <laughs> he needs all, to make that money back. <laughs> all with Cleveland signed him. <laughs> Uh, pitch book data shows. Uh, they also had San Francisco based iconic capital, which managers, which, sorry, manages money for Mark Zuckerberg and Jack Dorsey, along with common customers whose deposits are currently unavailable for withdrawal. Whoops. Other oh, big Jesus losers include Christ. the Canadian Ontario teachers pension plan fund, which invested 95 million in cryptocurrency. High profile. That's probably not a thing you should have done. Just, guessing uh high profile investors are already writing off their entire investments as sequoia capital who invested 200 million at valuations between 18 billion and 25 billion tweeted who's assuming the investment was worthless now mm-hmm. wait tying your your business pension into a uh high risk uh thing like this fake didn't, money didn't, didn't the movie do this uh oh, yeah. the other guys yeah. the short big <laughs> was it the short big? yeah you the thinking what I'm thinking? Oh, Aim for the bushes. <laughs> in the latest funding round completed in January 2022, also recently, FTX was va- hello. Va- FTX was valued at over 32 billion and Bankman Fried's net worth was said to be 26 billion. So he he's got the money to to uh, keep the right? Well, Pitchbook only discloses total funding rounds. It's a good guess that B stage or later investors lost anywhere between 10 million and hundreds of millions of dollars. Between ten and hundreds. <laughs> that's, a, that's just a small difference. Uh, prior to the ba- collapse, thirty-year-old Bankman Freed was considered a wonder kid. It's like it's like Ryan from The Office, or uh, when you're... or Nate, Nate, Nate the Great, Nate the Great. Mm. Oh, <laughs> said last time. Just think, anytime you're considered a wonder kid, you should just realize you're going to disappoint um, a lot of people. Yes. Uh, what was Alex that? Wright? Oh yeah. The uh, Thunderkind, mm-hmm. yep. Mm-hmm. Uh, Parks and Rec. Um, well, Adam Scott. Adam Scott. Scott. Oh. Yeah, yeah. He was. He was a, a mayor. The mayor, yeah. <laughs> yeah. Uh, he was. Uh, let's see here. Graduate of MIT, who majored in physics, he was known for being committed to spending his entire fortune on philanthropy. He was a dominant donor to Joe Biden, and paid 135 million for naming rights to the Miami Heat Stadium, which is now asking for a new. None of that sponsor. is philanthropy. None of that is philanthropy. Hey, hey, that is prominent. That's just I got dominant. a big dick. Prominent, prominent donor. Sorry, prominent oh. donor. Uh, yeah, so Miami Heat's now asking for a new paid sponsor for their stadium. So well, yeah, it's 
Jeff, get on that. Name it. It's okay. Hobie Stadium? Yeah. Well, it's okay. The Their stadium, they, they're actually allowed to name it, unlike the mm. Hamilton County Stadium, that they sold naming rights that they don't have the uh, ability to sell. Well, it's technicalities, Jim. They sold the rights for, what, like 20 years? Yeah. They don't have, and they I don't have the rights after 2023, or 2025. When the lease is up? When the lease is up. So, because you know, 20 signed. years or three. Okay. <laughs> Whichever is Same first. Thing. Whichever is first. Well, the Bengals sold the rights, right? The Bengals sold the rights, but they don't have the, the... Oh, but they don't have the... Rights to it after 2025, because... Because that's when the lease is on. Uh, if they sign a new lease, they do. You know, depending on what's in the new lease. And the... Uh, no, it's written in that the old... The old oh, the Paul Brown Stadium presents Paycor Stadium. And mm-hmm. the... Uh, At History of Bad Ideas <laughs> podcast there, there field. There was a yeah. typo... In the lease, that said, it's, it's originally said nineteen or sixteen point seven million dollars is what the cap is per year, and then the next one it said like sixteen point seven dollars. <laughs> so they if forgot they, to put million. If they sixteen dollars and seventy cents. If the county takes that to court, they could win and get the money beyond that amount. Everything over the sixteen dollars. Uh-huh. Yeah. And oh the, God, the, take the, it to court. And the Bengals still won't release how much they got from it to the county. <laughs> their their, their uh, accountants are saying we're well respected. The city's not owed, the county's not owed anything. <laughs> Trust us. <laughs> Trust us. I mean, I I tell my mortgage company that every month. <laughs> <laughs> they still I just. Here. I mean, I they still want my house, house payment. Yeah. <laughs> every every month, just pay sixteen dollars. Trust me, I'm good. If for the it. Bengals can do it, I can do it. Yeah. So, anyways, uh, let's see here. Uh, FTX ran ads in the New Yorker magazine featured uh, Brady and Giselle Bunchton with quotes such as, "I'm in on crypto because I want to make a biggest impact for good." Uh, while it was for a comedy spot in a commercial, warnings for FTX failing were made in a Super Bowl ad in February, when comedian Larry David sarcastically predicted that FTX wasn't going to make it. The ad shows David's character throughout history naysaying humanity's greatest inventions, including the wheel, the light bulb, coffee, and democracy. At the end of the ad, David learns about FTX, a safe and easy way to get into crypto. Uh, Dismissive, David says, eh, I don't think so. I'm never wrong about this stuff, never. And FTX ad closes with, don't be like Larry. I'm glad I was like Larry. So FTX failed first and democracy is about to. Yes. So coffee is next. Uh, the best part is that this Friedman, Bankman Friedman guy, this wonder kid, uh, also just put up his Bahamas house for $40 million today, if anybody would like to go buy it. Uh, I'm offering $12. $16. I'll buy it. I'll buy the $40 million house and put a typo and give you 40 cents. <laughs> <laughs> buy it and just pay in crypto. <laughs> oh, yeah, exactly. Here's my crypto. <laughs> Here's my FTX coin. <laughs> I just remember having this conversation with so many people, like, Crypto is trying to like debank the the like the banks, and it's just fake money. Yeah. It only is money if people believe in it. So yeah. this will eventually go belly up, and they're all like, "No, it's just gonna keep making more money." And I'm just like, "You're dumb." Uh, there was several people that I've known uh, that spent yeah. ten ten thousand dollars just on crypto, wow. like. Yeah. Different versions, like, yeah. you know, this is trading at 0.01 cent, you know, one cent on the dollar or whatever. But just yeah. think, if it raises up to a dollar, <laughs> how much money I'm going to make? Yeah. Well, I know somebody, the, the only person who I know who got uh, bought some crypto, bought it as soon as it got up to the price that he bought in, sold that much and took his original investment out. Yeah. So yeah. everything else was, you know... But- Whether and I knew somebody who did the like the calculations and had machines going, and then sold their crypto and went on vacation. They didn't put any money in, so that was smart. But like all these, like Tony tried to convince me to buy cryptocurrency when we were together, and I'm like, no, no, (laughs) no. Yeah, I I I can go and throw my my money into the toilet and flush it down. (laughs) It would be just as smart as putting money into cryptocurrency for once. Hobie, <laughs> their money, their IOUs, our IOUs is just as good as crypto. <laughs> there you Ho- go. Hobie coin is as strong as ever. It is. How many we got? Uh, almost three. Wow. Wow, that's you know, it's, amazing. It's it's you know think like reading this story and then like I see stories like 
uh, some NBA player took a signing bonus from BlockFi yeah. and crypto, and mm. and he's like a su- he's like a young kid, but it was like a substantial m- millions of dollars, mm-hmm. and he and they're going bankrupt. Yeah, and like OBJ, not that yep. I you know care about him, fuck him, he sucks, but his part of his contract with the Rams was mm-hmm. he he got seven hundred and fifty thousand dollars in Bitcoin. Yep. And now it's valued at like his that contract is like negative one hundred and thirty thousand dollars from where Bitcoin has just fallen from when he signed it. The Rams were like, uh, "You owe us money." Yeah, yeah, we're gonna need that money, that back. money back. Oh, and, when and something seems like surgery. it's better than it yeah. can be, it's not a good idea. No, it, that has never gone bad. Never. Always. The one thing is, yeah, if you do that, like I said, uh, if it's on its way up and you buy in, you know. Pull out your original investment when it gets mm. to a certain mm-hmm. thing. And then just see when it's getting high. I mean, yeah. I I, I would have, yeah, taken my money out long before the crash because it's like the crash is coming at some time. I listened to Brian just invest in Hobie coin. Yes. Never has steered us wrong in the past. Never. Uh, from Slow and steady wins the race. That's right. From uh, per bells of... Stop. Stop it. Th- those are the bells. Per bells of <laughs> bells of souls dot net right there. Ding. Mm-hmm. Where uh, Jeff gets all of his uh, news I've from. Never got news from here before. Duran Duran. Duran Duran in the nineteen eighties was one of the most popular bands as their hit "Hungry Like the Wolf." Oh my god, that's not even close. Made them a mainstream band. They were Hungry so like popular the they even had a board Hungry game made like about them, which later helped spawn the market for bands with board games, including the Backstreet Boys and the New Kids on the Block game. Since Twitter and Instagram... What did New Kids happen before Backstreet or back whatever? New Kids were before Backstreet. I don't think this was in order, okay? Late Bells of the Souls.net editing department alone. Oh, Uh, no. I'm going to... I'm going to come for them. (laughs) You know... New New Kids on the Block had a bunch of hits. And Mm -hmm. KOTB. Yep. Uh, uh, oh, 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 The right stuff. That's the... Hungry uh, like a wolf. Oh, 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 No. What a white stuff. Uh, let's see here. In uh, the middle of an Oreo. Since Twitter and Instagram didn't exist back there then, the only way celebrities had to communicate with us lesser folk was through licensed board games by Milton Bradley. <laughs> that, was that was the only way. way. <laughs> they just call like us lesser people? Television, yeah. videos. Or, or <laughs> music television. <laughs> yeah, MTV did not exist for Duran Duran. <laughs> Duran into the arena is a competitive dice rolling and set collecting game. Brian and I beat this six times already. The goal of all players is to have the most points when the end game trigger occurs. Points are gained through collecting singles, video cards, and ban- band members. Isn't the- that slavery? <laughs> I think that is slavery. <laughs> the game. I own you now. <laughs> <laughs> the game ends once a player has collected all the band members. The game consists mm-hmm. of two phases. In the first phase, players are rolling dice and moving around the outer ring of the board, collecting singles, like music singles. You are now mine, Simon. Lamar. I just want them single dollars. I'm not going to go through this whole thing. But anyways. um, (laughs) I collected the wrong Roger Taylor. (laughs) Oh, you got the one from Queen. Yes. Uh, Overall, it's a fine game for an 80s kid, but considering it's listed for ages 7 and up, it it might be too clunky is this review. Uh, Yeah. So um, So why are we reviewing an 80s Duran Duran game? Because Blake sent this to us. (laughs) He's not even here. You know what? You know why I did this? Because Blake sent an article and none of you fuckers are sending articles in. Give me some fucking articles. Want me to send you articles? Should I send it to your email? Slow news day. Bad. Mm -hmm. Send it to Bad Ideas Podcast. Send it to I don't care. Send it somewhere. I send it to I don't care. Yeah. Send it to Nickel. (laughs) Send it to Jeff at Graphic Novice. I don't give a shit. Give me an article, people. I sent you a news article about Pete Rose. We don't talk Pete Rose on this show. Good. Fuck him. Fuck him. I'm really sorry. How do you you truly feel there, Jason and Brian? Apologizing. That's a good call. Uh, I, I guess Pete Rose and Megan sound alike. Uh, hey, honey, how's it going? Ho, ho, ho. Is that Marge, Marge Shot? <laughs> <laughs> or Marge Simpson? <laughs> <laughs> a, a mix between both. Jeff, give me box office news. <laughs> uh, box office news and report from November 11th through November 13th. Hey, the dates are correct, I think. Oh, huh. 2022. Good job, intern. The number one movie is Black Panther, colon, Wakanda Forever. 
making another or making an original one hundred and eighty million dollars <laughs> in its opening weekend on a budget of two hundred and fifty million dollars. Woo, that's a big budget. But I'm but sure said. I'm sure it's all back with uh, international uh, box office. Uh, falling one spot to number two, Black Adam made another eight point six million, a total of one hundred fifty one million on a one hundred ninety five million dollar budget. Black Panther beat that in one week. Yes, it did. Uh, coming in, we at can th- read. <laughs> <laughs> number three, Ticket to Paradise made eight and a half million, a total of fifty six and a half million on a budget of sixty. I'm so dollars. disappointed we didn't get to see this when we were down in Gatlinburg, Jason. Two tickets to Paris. No, that's the sequel. Oh, sorry. I know, Jim. I really want to go. Do you want to go this weekend? Uh, maybe we'll see something else. Okay. Uh, oh, how about the next one? could see Lyle, Lyle, yeah. Crocodile. That made another $3.2 million, a total of $41 million on a $50 million budget. Is this animated? No. Live action, Crocodile. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Uh, six kids were killed during the filming. <laughs> Ale- uh, Why? Why? <laughs> Why put that out there, Jason? Not, You're just not like, by a crocodile. Random facts. <laughs> random facts. Like, they weren't, eat, they weren't eaten by a crocodile. Yeah. It's just, it's just coincidence. Mm. <laughs> that was shot they, by Alec Baldwin. They, they, they got E. coli. <laughs> Alec Baldwin's Ooh, like, you got wow. any guns on the set? <laughs> <laughs> that looks like a real crocodile. <laughs> uh, that's the sound guy. <laughs> Sure, it's not a crocodile. I can shoot it, you know. Why is the South guy a kid? <laughs> they, it was well, really, there are really low budget. Budgetary they were trying to touch. Yes. So just, they only had a fifty million dollar budget. <laughs> uh, it's Al- family business. They're allowed to work. <laughs> Alec, you probably shouldn't uh, throw the gun around like that. I'm not pointing at any. Boom. Uh-huh. Oh, I don't know what happened. Oh, we need another crocodile. <laughs> <laughs> Where's the best boy at? Get him in here. You shot him. Oh, you're today. such the best boy. You're the best boy. Bam. Not anymore. <laughs> so the best boy on this set's a dog. <laughs> Jesus, you shot him. I am, I am not okay with that. <laughs> Give That's me this worst his treatment of his cats. <laughs> Give me the second best boy. <laughs> Who's the I'm second just really best boy? condescending to people, but you're the lesser boy. <laughs> oh man, hey, you don't even get to be the best boy. You're the lesser boy, <laughs> but you're the alive boy. So at least that's a positive. <laughs> um, let me ask. Can we just start with the worst boy and work our way up? <laughs> well, we probably should have, but it's Alec Baldwin. You can't tell him what to do. Um, Alec Baldwin started with Canteen Boy. <laughs> <laughs> Uh, Jeannie, let me ask you this. Do you know about Cats? Um, do you like know... the musical? No, 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 no. Memories not... all of... No, then I don't. She knows they don't have buttholes. That's true. Uh, <laughs> cats, if you go on vacation, you just let like a tub of food out and they'll get it. They'll take care of it. They'll be, you'll be... I have dogs. Well, I'm just telling you, if you do get a cat, just leave dog, cat food out for the whole week. And they'll what? they're rashing it. They won't overeat or anything. Jason's not allowed to own cats. Yeah, Jason, I'm you're not allowed to own cats. I'm thinking about taking Cora with me. <laughs> <laughs> she won't go. My dog won't go near you. I, I'll, if she wants to go, if she blinks twice at me, <laughs> she's yeah. going. Yeah, I'm like I, I I can bring my my har- my dog harnessed down when I come down. Your dog can come back with me. Yeah. Oh, <laughs> never mind. Uh, <laughs> What were you going to say, Jason? Nothing. Moving on. Uh, what's number five? <laughs> what were you going to say? Is it something about my harness? <laughs> I think Jason has a dirty mind. Anyways, moving on. Number five. Number five is Smile. It made two point three million, a total of one hundred and two point eight million, on a budget of seventeen million dollars. I'd have to my say kid. that this is a success. So my this kid is the wants one me to go see this that's so bad. It. Made Do its it. money back. I I don't like of horror the films. top five. It's the only one that made its money back in the American box office. What'd you say, Jeannie? I can't I can't do horror films like I mm-mm. I on, saw the preview for this and it was so heebie beat out that I was not going to go see what this. about horror films like horror films bring them on <laughs> but horror films no horror like, <laughs> like Jeff pretty loves horror films horror, all about <laughs> horrors it's when the horrors come to town <laughs> what else you got Jeff yeah. upcoming November 18th of 2022 we have the menu this movie looks so fucking dumb I a young couple <laughs> travels to a remote island to eat at an exclusive restaurant where the chef has prepared a lavish menu 
with some shocking surprises. It was on yeah. the uh, trailer. The trailer mm-hmm. was on the uh, Black Panther. Uh, Black Panther this weekend, and this is the first I saw or heard of it, and I was intrigued. I was too. I, the cast looks phenomenal. Yeah. Well, I'll see almost anything. On Tyler, Tyler Joy. On Tyler Joy's yeah. in. Ralph Fiennes, Nicholas Holt, Arturo Castro, John Leguizamo, Hong Chow, Amy <laughs> Carrero. Who was the first person you said? Anna. Anna Taylor Joy. You know, I pitched a couple movies with her in it. <laughs> Every movie you pitch has her in it. <laughs> yeah. It has Judith Light in it. Yeah. From Who's the I Boss? I have to say, yeah. I was excited about the cast of this. Mm-hmm. And, and, and this is a movie that I'll probably watch when it comes out on HBO Max or one yeah. of the streaming services. Cause, and I can stop and walk away. Yeah, you, you told him it was my birthday. Yeah. <laughs> it sounded like a good, a fun thing to do three hours ago. <laughs> I think the funniest part of the entire trailer was like when she, the lady is, she looks at the guy and she's like, "We're probably gonna die tonight, right?" And he's, he's like, like mm, "Yeah, uh, yeah, mm-hmm. yeah, <laughs> no, 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 yeah, yeah, yeah." yeah. Mm-hmm. Uh, what else got? Also coming out, we have she said. New York Times reporters Megan Twoey and Jody oh, Cantor yeah. break one of the most important stories in a generation, a story that helped launch the hashtag MeToo movement and shatter decades of silence around the subject of sexual assault in Hollywood. Oh, is this the Weinstein one? Yes. Okay. Yeah. Uh, this is I just like Carrie Mulligan, inter- Zoe Kazan, Patricia Clarkson, Andre Brower. Yeah. What's that, Jeannie? I was like, all the interviews I've seen on this, the ladies are like, this is not about me, too. And I'm like, yeah, it fucking is. <laughs> That's exactly what it's about. <laughs> this is summary. what this is about. Why would you say it's not about that? It is. It's in the summary. Uh, Jeannie, give me some good top five music. All right. No. We're doing our moment of silence, damn it. Oh, who, yes, of, Kevin we, Conroy? We, we do have Kevin a breath, Conroy pass. Yeah. Breath of silence for Kevin breath Conroy. Breath of silence. <sighs> Batman the Animated Series. Yes. Wonderful. The, 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 uh, the quintessential Batman in yep. our The culture. best Batman. Yeah. And, and, and also comedian Gallagher. Mm. I didn't know Gallagher died. What the fuck do you mean? Mm. He smashed a watermelon. Eh, fuck him. Oh, you're so wrong. <laughs> Did you ever watch any of his stand up? No, he Did didn't. Did you watch? I, I don't know. Well, exactly. I still make a decision. No, I mean, Gall- growing up as a child, Gallagher is one of my favorites. And, I mean, he had the shtick of smashing watermelon, but I don't think there was a better comedian in the uh, 80s for observational humor. Okay. Him or Stephen Wright? Uh, Stephen Wright, probably, at least as an adult, definitely. <laughs> uh, but Stephen, Stephen Wright's wasn't necessarily observational humor. His was quirky, uh, uh, try to find a, a different look at things type thing. The Gallagher Cup, why do you ride, drive on a parkway and park in a driveway? Yes. I'm sick and tired of all the things I learned in shul. Okay, you ready? <laughs> Breath of silence. Okay. Gallagher or Red Skelton? <laughs> Gallagher. <laughs> Sorry. Sorry, going back to the last I, one. Who is Red Skeleton? Skelton. Oh, okay. Get out. Thank you, Brian. <laughs> You're welcome. I was muted, and I'm like, what the? <laughs> <laughs> Give me some top five music, Jeannie. Blah, 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 top five. Yeah. That was, I'm that, not the musician. That, that was awesome. <laughs> top five. <laughs> Worst fictional cities to visit. All right. <laughs> uh, top five worst f- fictional cities to visit. Uh, Jeannie, what's your number five? Borrow Alaska from 30 Days of Night. Oh, I didn't even think of that. Yep. It's a real city, though. Yeah, but it's a No, it is not. It is not it. a real city. It is based on a real city, but it is not a real city. Oh. It's probably a good one with the vampires. Yeah. Yeah. Cool. I'm like, and Logan argued with me. He's like, you just have to stay away from it that yeah. one month. Yeah. I mean, it could be a really just great city. Just don't go in January and you'll month. be all right. I'm like, I still don't want to fucking go there. Pitch black for a month straight. It sounds like a wonderful place for me. Sounds like the worst place in the world. Although, but, if you go the there, vampires like, kind of destroy the whole thing. You get twenty four hours of light. Mm-hmm. Uh, number five, Jeff. Uh, number five for Jeff is uh, Gotham City. Hey, hey, that's my number five as well. I'm sorry, Probably. it has Batman. I still want to go there. Mm. No, I still would avoid it. I just don't want to be a cop there. Not a good pension program. The the one th- the one thing I was reading when I was like looking up f- some of these things, and there was somebody said with Gotham, it's like 
Um, criminals have the best chance of staying alive <laughs> than the, the regular... Uh... Batman don't, won't kill them. <laughs> uh, my number five was Gotham. Jim? My number five... Well, you're going to go around this way, Brian. Oh, okay. Sorry. Uh, my number five, I hobied this. Mm-hmm. This will be Castle Rock or Dairy Maine. Honorable mentions. Mm-hmm. You're okay in Dairy Maine as long as you're not a kid. No, uh, yeah. some adults. And that's some. an actual yeah. city. That's just one story. That's true. Yeah, he puts a lot of stories in. Prequel's cool coming out. Mm-hmm. Uh, HBO Max. Uh, J- Brian. Uh, number five for me, Bayside, California. That'd be a great city to live in. No, it would not. Bayside, California. Is that from Saved by the Bell? Yes. Oh, okay. What about... I mean, Lisa Turtle lives there. Yeah. So does Mr. Belding. The <laughs> high school students grow up to be strippers in Vegas. <laughs> or but, porn stars. What yeah. About, what about Bayside, allegedly. what, Minneapolis? It's not allegedly. He has a porn. Bayside, Indiana. Oh, yeah, that's right. Well, I don't think that it was actually base. Was I don't think it was actually Bayside in the first season. Yeah, the first season they were in Indiana. But yes. it was known as... Uh, Our Miss Bliss. Yeah. Yes. Uh, number four. Good morning, Miss Bliss. Uh, number yeah. four for me, I'm going to stick in California and go with Charming. <laughs> I thought of Anarchy. Charming. Yeah. That's, a, that's a very, very dangerous place. I feel like if you stay away from the motorcycle gangs... Yeah, you know, they also have a bunch uh, of uh, white uh, supremacists. Mm-hmm. Only one season. Uh, <laughs> yeah. Allegedly. Yeah, just... California in general. Is that the Sons of Anarchy? Yes. yes. Yeah. Okay. I didn't watch that. That's why I was like, I don't know what Charming is. All right. It does have Jax, though. He is hot. Mm-hmm. Not anymore. Well, that's true. Uh, he's on the front of a semi. Uh, number four for you. Number four for me, I'm going to stay in Maine. Cabot Cove. Oh, that was my number three. Uh, you're almost guaranteed to get murdered in Cabot Cove. Murder, and, she wrote. Yes. And... Mm-hmm. Uh, it's got to have be the highest per capita murder a city of anything. Well, in the when country. the detective is the serial killer, that's the yeah, issue. Yeah, <laughs> Jessica Fletcher kills people, then frames other people. Yes. And show, she shows, she's really good at it. She's really good at it where she convinces these people that they actually did it. Yes. Yeah. <laughs> well, They're like, know. I would have gotten away with, oh, wait, that's a different city. <laughs> it is false confessions. It's pretty, you know. Mm-hmm. Yeah. I, uh, Jeff and I still are in the process of, ma- of writing a book on describing mm-hmm. how she. Murdered everybody by going by episode, episode. The murder she wrote diaries. <laughs> I like it. Mm-hmm. Uh, Trademark. I feel no. like that's a long book. Well, it, it's a series of books. Yeah. Oh, okay. It's not books. a book. It's several <laughs> books. Okay. Well, each episode like, probably a short story. Yeah. So. Okay. A chapter. So you could do like five episodes and make that one book. Better than be Twilight, Volume it's a, One. It's, an it's an a better love story than Twilight. That's right. <laughs> it's an anthology. <laughs> <laughs> I like it. Uh, number four for me is Tatooine. It's dry. It's hot. It's filled with sand, and stormtroopers are everywhere. It's and it's a enough. planet, not a city. Yes. Yeah. Still, so like, Eisley. Moss Eisley, Eisley is or my Mos number Espa. one. I guess that would be better. Not, yeah. You know what? Fuck it. The whole the whole planet of Tatooine is worthless. For a second but there, I thought you were describing Snickerdoodle Pop Tarts. <laughs> yeah. I was just describing <laughs> Snickerdoodle Pop Tarts. Mine didn't have any stormtroopers. <laughs> mm-hmm. uh, number three or four for you, Jeff. Uh, my number four is King's Landing. I will mention. Uh, yeah. Um, it's like y- you either are incredibly rich and powerful and everyone wants to kill you, or you're incredibly poor and live in the slums. And that's about it. Those are the only two options in King's Landing. Mm-hmm. What's that from? Game of Thrones. Oh, okay. Thank you. Oh, my God. Uh, um, so oh, disappointed yeah. you, Jason. Sorry. I live to disappoint. Uh, Jeannie, number four. My number four is Sin City Old Town. Sin City. That's a good one. Yep. And you're in black and white all the time. Yeah, and <laughs> just a lot of people trying to murder you. Yeah. Now, wouldn't that be Basin City? Well, I mean, <laughs> it is. That's why I said Sin City, Old Town, reference Sin City. I give you my reference as well as what, it, like, the name of the town. Yeah. So, but, people who don't know what I'm talking about, that, that one was easy. But uh, number three, I'm going to murder how to say this name correctly. It's Mezzo Barazin. Menjo Thank you. Baranzen. What's that from? Thank you. It is D City of the Dark Elves, City yes. of Spiders. Ah, uh, <laughs> yeah, we yeah, yeah we yeah. That, we w- saw the rest stop for it, and Brian yeah. and were like, just, ah, <laughs> we'll go past it. That <laughs> was an we don't need mention. to go there. <laughs> <laughs> was an honorable? Yeah, Brian and I like we went through it, and like we saw the rest stop, and we're like, 
I mean, it's just spiders. Like, yeah. Fuck, whatever. We've but, already killed well, dragons. Well, it's still I the mean, dark elves. Like, that That in itself makes it a The rest stops aren't anywhere to. near as good as the rest stops in Kentucky. Great <laughs> mm. partner. Um, like the only good there's person no to bourbon come out there. of there is Drizzen. <laughs> yeah. I mean, that guy, he's, <laughs> man, he's the best. <laughs> he, he has to ride with us. Yeah. <laughs> On her camel. Uh, your fucking camel. <laughs> they, they, they didn't ride camels. They were more like lizard. Mm-hmm. In ours, we yeah. did. Uh, they had a poor DM. Oh. It, tor- it turned into a lizard. It turned into a lizard. I think. Uh, so. Yeah, but I mean, it was mo- it was like ninety five percent camel. I will say five percent lizard. Yeah, I will say that drizzle. He is hilarious. <laughs> he is a funny guy. Oh, they had drizzle with them. He probably <laughs> rode a camel. Yes. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Drizzle's a completely different character. <laughs> yeah, completely. Completely. Dr. Drizzle. Drizbit, though. Drizbit. He was. Drillbit, too. Drillbit. Drillbit yeah. Taylor. Drillbit Taylor. <laughs> oh, my God. Jeff, number three. <laughs> Your game was awesome. It was great. <laughs> uh, my number three was uh, what did we say it was? Camp Cove, Cove, Maine. Uh, my number three is Latvia. Uh, I'm sorry. Uh, Latveria? Lat- Latveria. Latveria, not Latvia. A, a Latveria. country. It is a country, but it's small enough that it could be a city. Oh, sure. It does have a capital city, Doom. I, I looked it up, and I couldn't find one, and I'm like, son of a bitch, where it, is it? It showed up in some of the lists I was looking at. It was Doom something. It begins with I missed, Doom. I missed but, that one, then. Uh, yeah, because Dr. Doom's the head there, and that's yes. probably not a good area. Unless you're on Dr. Doom's good side. Yeah, I guess I so. Mean, no, you, Doctor Doom doesn't have a good side. You don't. Oh, it's on the left. <laughs> um, no, it's the inside. Yeah, yeah. He has a heart. You got to crawl gold. into his asshole to be on his good side. <laughs> <laughs> good thing he's not a cat. How does he shit in that? <laughs> uh, number three for you, Jim. Uh, I'm going to go San Andreas or Liberty City. Liberty City. My number one is any GTA universe. My number city. two is a three-way tie between Vice City, Liberty City, and <laughs> San Andreas. I had any city in GTA, <laughs> Grand Theft Auto. I thought you meant from the movie where the earthquake happens. No, no. Oh, that would okay. not be a good city either. I, that would suck also. Yeah. <laughs> uh, that's my number one. Uh because anybody can kill anyone. I, I mean, yeah. The cops are terrible at catching uh, hit and runs. And all I know is you, you, like, they just stop looking for you after a while. <laughs> you, I got my. <laughs> they get their car spray seconds. painted and they're free to go. <laughs> and then you just, you just watch a guy. He'll do these funny moves like this, like up and down. And then he has a tank. <laughs> <laughs> it's crazy. Uh, Brian. I once saw him get his tank to fly. <laughs> Uh, number three for me, uh, Haddonfield. Oh, Michael Myers. Yeah, yep. that guy. It, about that. It never ends. He just he. You can't. Yeah, he's just there killing people all the time. Uh, what Even you, after he's dead, he's killing people. Yeah, I don't do those horror films. Did, did you do it in other months other than October? No, I don't know. I would like to see him. So you can like, visit in June. Yeah, yeah. I'd, I'd love to see Michael go Myers there, in like in the middle January. of summer. He's actually a <laughs> lifeguard in the summertime at the oh. local YMCA. He's fine. That he's there sense. with uh, <laughs> what? Wendy Peppercorn. Uh, he's uh, obviously <laughs> she's Wendy Peppercorn. <laughs> <laughs> Best lifeguard ever. Yeah. Uh, number one for you, Brian. Uh, maybe number two. Whatever. Number two. <laughs> Whatever. Um, Dunstan Valley, Texas. What's that? Dunstan checks in? Nope. Oh. oh. <laughs> um, that is the city where the high school football team started a massive brawl with the Dillon Panthers <gasps> in Friday Night Lights. Oh, oh they sound terrible. Yeah, I didn't. I did not appreciate that town or the way that they treated the Panthers. They are, they are little bastards. Yes. Uh, number two, Jim. Do I uh, hope you this one? I did uh, Winterfell or Pike. Yeah. Um. Because yeah, I wouldn't want to visit oh. either of those either. Yeah, I would have no problem visiting Winterfell when it's not winter. It's always winter. No, no, no. They winter just, is they, coming, duh. They just got done with the longest summer on record. Yeah, mm-hmm. and now winter's going to be there forever. Well, okay, now would be a terrible mm-hmm. time. And go. the wall is broken. Yeah. <laughs> and then Pike, yeah, it's just rocks. Yeah. Mm. <laughs> Rocky Islands. Mm-hmm. It mm-hmm. rains a lot there, too, I saw. Yeah. That, Jason, that's from Game of Thrones. I gotcha. gotcha. Mm-hmm. <laughs> uh, my number two is Woodsboro from Scream. I was thinking of Haddonfield, but I was like, Scream, really, they just do it at any time of the year, not just October. 
And uh, there's a lot more, like, Michael Myers sometimes, like, picks and chooses his victims. Scream really, they sometimes do, like, the... But they're all picked and chose. What are you talking yeah, about? but lately they've been kind of getting off the topic, so... I guess if you don't go to a house party, you're safe. But I'm still going to Woodsboro. Don't say, I'll be right back. You're safe. I'll and be, right be back. a virgin. Don't go to LeBron's house party. Uh, right. Number two for you. Number two for me was the uh, Grand Theft Auto Cities. Okay. Mm-hmm. Uh, Jeannie, number two. Mordor. <laughs> Honorable mention. Yep. <laughs> uh, My number one is Mos Eisley. You bastard, you. Sorry. <laughs> sorry. Uh, I mean, I hope that. Wretched uh, hive of scum and villainy. Yes. Yeah, they have a great like, band. And and they have water farms, <laughs> like moisture farms, so I don't want to go there. I like being moist. What do you mean they have a great band? It's like, what do you want to hear? <laughs> oh, same thing as last time. Okay. <laughs> yeah. Randomly shoot people in the bar? No, thank you. Yeah. Uh, number one for you, Jeff? Number one for me is Hawkins, Indiana. Oh, Stranger yeah. Things. Yeah, uh, you know, a giant rift just ripped the town in half. Uh, probably not a Not a problem, is it? Uh, kind of is like like ten mm-hmm. percent of the population I think died in it or something. Allegedly. A Demogorgon comes out of nowhere and eats no, people. Exactly. Yeah. Alec Baldwin was there too. Yes. <laughs> hey, if, if I get just as long as you you don't run into Vecna, God damn mm. it. <laughs> uh, my number one was GTA. Uh, pretty mm-hmm. much any uh, city in that uh, universe. Number one for you, Jim. Number one, I. Because I just read the uh, upcoming thing, I hobied this. Mm-hmm. The first one is wherever that menu uh, movie takes place. <laughs> <laughs> Good call. Good call. And I totally Coles- agree with that. That's fine. That's fine. And Coolsville. Scooby. Scooby Doo. Yep. Oh. Mm-hmm. That is honorable mention. Yeah, because they, again, people just end up dying there. And, he, and even if you weren't killed, you're probably going to get framed for murder because they're no, going to pull yeah. a mask off and it's going to be you. I like, would have got oh, away with I that. Was there. I was <laughs> sleeping. What? Yeah. Professor Hyde White. Yeah. Uh, number one for you, Brian? Uh, number one for me is wherever How I Met Your Mother takes place. <laughs> that's New York, New York City. That's New York City. City. That, that's a Fuck city that, that actually exists. And uh, Cleveland? They visited and, Cleveland. And, and, and they visited, well, they drove through Cleveland. They really never stopped. They did stop at wherever it was in Minnesota that Marshall uh, yeah. left. Yeah. Look what happens. Dad died. All of that sounds terrible. <laughs> yeah, but Dad's Ted dying Mosby's is terrible. Yeah, well, fuck Ted Mosby. <laughs> wow. <laughs> www.fucktedmosby.com. All uh, right. We also had uh, listener feedback from Brian. Ow. Uh, number five, Atlantis. Waterfront, top to bottom, back and sides. <laughs> Gotham City, high crime and weirdos. Um, Macros, Macros City, instantly reformed from South Pacific to Pluto. What is Macro City? Anyone know? I do not know. Uh, Cloud City, come for gambling, stay for the occupation. Oh, uh, <laughs> yeah. uh, and Springfield, home of Cobra, or in modern times, Lulu Roo. <laughs> So, Macro City is the Super Dimension Fortress. Looks like a video game. Oh, okay. Yeah. We're yeah. Worthy on that. Uh, yeah. There you go. Uh, bad idea of the week. Oh, wait. I have honorable mentions. Oh, go ahead then. Yeah, I have Raccoon City, Resident yep. Evil, and Gravity Falls, Gravity Falls. Good call. I like those. Twin Peaks. Yep. No, the restaurant? Cares about Twin Peaks. What? The, the restaurant? No. Oh, okay. There's a restaurant. The it. city. Oh, oh the city Twin Peaks that was yes. in the TV, TV show, show Twin, Twin Peaks. Peaks. Mm-hmm. <laughs> Where people died. Yep. Uh, bad idea of the week. Uh, number 122. Uh, don't go on any movie sets with Alec Baldwin, especially if you're a child. Um, especially if you're a canteen boy. <laughs> yes. I thought it was going to be something to do with cryptocurrency. Uh, number yeah. 17. 17. Cryptocurrency. Cryptocurrency. There you go. <laughs> uh, titles for the show. Oh, I got a lot. Oh, I've got a few. I have. The I less, wrote nothing down. I have the lesser boy, or who's the best boy? <laughs> I have everyone has herpes. <laughs> I have a soggy bottom. I have crunchy ass cookie. I have woo. <laughs> uh, I have. Then he went to the hospital. I have bribe season. Oh, I like that. Uh, Jason loves feet. No, oh. <laughs> uh, I already had two myself, and floor of a wood shop. Uh, Jeff, mm. I had okay measles. <laughs> uh, I want a soggy bottom. I had okay measles as well. <laughs> <laughs> 
I have uh, an all Danny panel. Uh, 7,554 times. Uh, bribe season. Bribe which season. I like that one because people might realize it's time to send in the bribe. Yes. And uh, Drizzle rode a camel. <laughs> Drizzle <laughs> rode a camel. Uh, I had. Dr. Drizzle. Uh, we all know cats don't have buttholes. <laughs> Bring that one back. Uh, Josh Gad also doesn't have a butthole. <laughs> That's neither been confirmed That was automatic subtext. Yeah, automatic subtext. Automatic subtext of the cats um, don't have buttholes. Zero sex panther. <laughs> uh, I'm going to... Uh, well, let's see here. I can't even read my name. I'm just going to eat my cookie. <laughs> uh, the all Danny panel. Okay, measles. <laughs> Think of the memories. And bribe season. Think of the memories. I had not getting polio again. <laughs> okay, measles. Not enough panthers. I've been buried alive several times. <laughs> it's bribes... <laughs> It, it's bribe season. <laughs> I just have that one down. Uh, let's see here. Hold on. Uh, that's all I had. I'm sorry. Mm-hmm. So I had more. I, I think consensus says bribe season. It's bri- bribe season? Bribe, bribe season. season. Bribe season it is. Mm-hmm. Jeannie. I like soggy bottom. <laughs> <laughs> that's good we for heard you. that about you. <laughs> if you like to go on Tinder, look for Jeannie. She's under soggy oh, bottoms. She's, I that like is soggy not bottoms. a true statement. <laughs> the, she's the Toledo like, soggy bottom. She is the Toledo. I tell you all the time to send me dick pics, but I don't want pictures of soggy bottoms unless they're actual pies. You want to do the, like, there's a whole challenge about pulling your pies out so you can you have a sturdy bottom. You hold the pie out of the pie pan. We were doing so well. <laughs> <laughs> so, Jeannie, thanks for visiting. Uh, well, the problem is, like, Jeff and Brian can't even see that you're like, yeah, and you, you pull it out, and, you and your, hand your hands are way up. <laughs> hey, Jim, how do you eat Italian sausage? <laughs> After she's talking about dick pics. <laughs> You just, you just okay, that out. wasn't appropriate timing, but I mean, like, I, I mean, pie season is the time right now. So, like, make sure that you make a pie. Rice pie. And eat a pie. Uh, okay. Rice, <laughs> rice pie. <laughs> Jenny, where can we find you at besides Toledo? Uh, uh, you can find me on uh, T-J-L-H-I-G-H on uh, Twitter and mm-hmm. on Untapped and every social media. That's my name. It's really easy to find me. Okay. Well, Jeannie, Very consistent. Thank you for being on. Hopefully, you'll be on for the floppies, and uh, or send in your vote uh, and pie. And uh, hey, Bri- Jeff. Oh, uh, wait. Yes, Brian. What do you call a French guy being mauled by a lion? I don't know, Brian. What do you call a French guy being mauled by a lion? Claude. <laughs> <laughs> Oh. Oh. Uh-huh. Roger says goodbye. Goodbye. French croissant. Bye. From Walking Dead to Talking Heads, from comic books to TV sets, there's a history. Not so bad, there's a history. It's the history of bad. So bad. The history of bad. It's bad. The history of bad ideas. Oh, yeah. You are listening to a hobby.